Yo YouTube, what's up? It is me once again and first of all I hope that everyone out there is having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for tuning in. But guys, what can I say? Season 12 keeps breaking all the records. You guys can probably see it in the thumbnail already. The prize pool right now is sitting at $5,800. And we hosted, or we finally managed to host the PlayStation Top 16 finals as well guys it was super exciting so many insane matchups of course the best players across the entire world competing for the title for the championship and of course for the money so if you like what we do please feel free to subscribe to the channel and a little reminder for everyone out there who likes to play mk this monday the new season starts season 13 it is open to basically the entire world. Feel free to check out the Discord link in the channel description. Join us and have a good time because we want to get as many people into these events as possible. It doesn't matter what your skill level is. Just have a good time. And that's what it's all about. So guys, thank you for the support. As always, you better hit that sub button because we try to upload every single day. And bring you guys the hypest MK action. On YouTube. But for now, enjoy the first part of the finals. And tomorrow we're gonna see each other again. But then Aquaman is gonna be next to me for the top eight. And guys, I'm already scared. But for now, have a great evening and take care, guys. Bye bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the day has finally come. And it is actually unbelievable that I can say this. Welcome to our season 12, 5,000 euro grand finals. We are here and I know that Miss Six, she is nervous as hell. But Miss Six, I speak for the entire community when I say there is nothing better on the mic than you today. So thank you so much for being here. But how do we feel? I'm okay. First of all, I'm excited to be back. I missed the arena. I'm not even gonna lie, but oh, holy crap. 5k euro tournament. And we're not even at the end of it yet. We have a crazy top finals today. I'm looking at the bracket. I am so excited. This is this is gonna be a fun one. It is incredible. And once again, I just gotta say it. Even though I know you guys are waiting for the fight, but Thank you for an incredible season. One of the craziest seasons we ever hosted, not only in terms of overall prize pool, in terms of player base. I mean, I got to flex on you guys real quick. 269 unique players competed in season 12 on PC and on PS4. I see the support already from Chabok, Jesswo and Tuxedo Man. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, we prepared a little graphic as well, because Miss X, you saw it while the timer was running down. We officially paid out $55,000 no. to the MK community. And that is without any sponsor at all. It is all crowdfunded with this insane community. You guys yeah, are absolutely is, incredible. That's crazy. Fat. $55,000. That's absolutely nuts. <laughs> Clearly have built one of, if not the biggest community here on MK and deserve all the support and love that you get too. It is. It is insane. And Django, thank you so much for the resub. Guys, for everyone watching this on YouTube, I know you guys can't see the chat. Tomorrow, top eight. My boy is back. And he is here with us. Mr. Aquaman. And man, I'm oh. afraid because you guys, you guys know what happens when Aquaman and me are on the mic together. Aquaman, I can't wait. It is going to be a blast tomorrow for the final stretch. Because guys, this tournament, it is so hype that we can't host it in one day. I need a break between. You guys know I'm an old man at this point. So I need some sleep today. We run it from top 16 down to top 8. But every single set on the winner's side is on stream and now you know what let me show you the lineup because this one is hella stack mystiques the best players across the entire globe are here eu cis na 
everyone wants to win it, but there can only be one season champion. You guys know it. Who is it gonna be? Let's take a look at the bracket and let's talk about it a little bit because some very, very interesting facts here. Looking at this first match alone. And Mystique, do you want to say something about Tigris' ridiculous performance in season 12? I, I would, I would actually like to say something about Tigris' ridiculous performance. I met Tigris very early into her MK journey. And right as she was like kind of starting up and trying to find games and sets and stuff. And her level up, like Rips, you, you've watched it as much as I have. Her level up has been insane. She's been grinding so hard and I am so proud to see her in this top 16. Like so proud yes. and so happy for her. Yes, because Tigris, I say it all the time, she really represents what we stand for here in Rips Arena. And that is just being a place for the entire community, not only pro players, but everyone is supposed to just have fun, play some MK with us and Tigris. She proved it this season. She made it. Rank number 16 seed. Today, it's gonna be a rough one though, because yes, this grand final, it is seeded, and that means she has to fight the rank number one player going into the finals, and that is no other than the Sub-Zero God himself, Taki Nada, a threat in every single bracket he appears in. It's gonna be great, though, so I can't wait for it. We have Kani Mani versus Jet Ring. This could already that be an EVO finals match, Miss Six. For sure. I mean, I saw that one, and you said that the bracket... <laughs> is uh you know it's seeded but i guess once you get this high up every seed is gonna be an insane <laughs> match i mean Kani mani jet ring that's that's like the grand finals in a top tournament right yeah, there this it's is, just this is gonna be a clash of the two regions one of the best players here we have Kani mani representing our eu scene jet ring of course representing the na scene Gotta be ready. We have the Devora Mirror right after Honeybee and Bloodfire, the best name in the FGC, Miss Seeks. We have. Oh, I have to say it again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say it today. Divine Makuran, another NAEU showdown. Spawn versus the best Scarlet in the entire world. We have SMC, Mr. Aquaman. Get ready for the best Kotal Khan from Italy. Mid Command Day. Mid Command grabbing here through this bracket. Stormbreaker. Gollywomb Desarded, Uvility, Son of a Bat. That one is the sleeper pick in this bracket, in my opinion, because this rain out of this world. A viewer favorite on YouTube as well. And then last but not least, MK Javier. Yes, Musiques, he is here tonight. The jalapeno. The jalapeno. Let's go. For the Scorpion action versus Kitana Khan. And those are the 16 warriors we have in this bracket tonight. Beavis, thank you so much for the resubscription. You guys are already going crazy at with the player runs so far because we have Tigris with 18 sets played, 58% win ratio. And yes, going into this bracket as the ranked number 16 seed. And then there is Takinada who only lost one single set. The entire season mystiques. I mean, what is that performance here from the young Sub Zero? I mean, it's ridiculous, but we know what Takinata can do. Always in the top of your brackets, always in the top of your tournaments. Just such a strong player, but also Tigress on the come up and I mean just just win kicks out of the F2. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Just just get out of there. Just run. <laughs> that is right. But Tigress, there is nothing to lose because just being in the finals. That is one of the craziest achievements already. But now, Mystiques, it is time. We see the matchup we expected. Fujin versus Sub-Zero. Takinada, he wants to go all in now. Yeah, for sure. Gonna start it off quick. Start it off strong. I hope you guys are ready. Hopefully, your seatbelts. <laughs> we're you know we're in for it today. Can we get some exclamation point AOs in the chat? Grand Final Season 12, the record season in Rips Arena, and now it's starting. Yes, let's go. You wish to kill Bihan. I wish to save my Letting brother's soul. Letting the intros soul. rock too, love to then see it. it. Yeah, that's how I like it. Together. Yeah, Round great, makes it more cinematic. Sense. All right, how do we start off here? This is forward two into Ice Ball, oh no. 
the, Here come the, the shenanigans. Of Zero and Tigress, she has to guess for her life now because Takinara, I mean, this kid spent the entire day in the lab with us. Yeah, of course he did, and I feel like he spent every day in the lab. Getting that D2, though, Tigress is able to get out of the corner, which is not where you want to be. Oh, Goes for the Tigress, oh, but he was ready! He was ready! Oh no, he's seen it too many times. In first round, is going here to Takinata. That is right, and Wolverine, thank you so much for the two gifted subs. Mystique, we are already sitting on a hype train. We haven't even done anything! I mean, it's hype rips. It's it's this <laughs> crazy top 16. You know it's hype. Great checks here. Good blocks. Hype trying like to get the jump throw. in. Good forward throw. Alright, going for the full screen ice ball. Uses the right into the interactable. Ball. Wait a minute, Tigress. She has the life lead. And Takinata, he is waking up buttons. He's waking up. Ready to go. Got him in the corner now. Tigress with the cancel. He drops the combo. The random wind kick. I mean, that's Love what she is known for. That's why we call her the wind kick queen. Checks. Good checks. Both players being patient. Just goes for the cross up jump into grab. Board throw again here from Tigress. She is just one string away. One random. Both of so them have the win button as well. There's the oh. two mistakes, and this is gonna do it. Jump in. Wait! Drops it! Oh, the... Oh, my God. The chip wasn't enough. That was so close. Oh, no. All right. First robbery. First robbery going to Takinata. <laughs> there it is. It was so... Close. It was incredibly close. But Takinada able to clutch it out there in the end. Let's take a look at that replay. But I'm pretty sure we're going to see more of those Sub-Zero robberies tonight, the Six. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's it's a Rips tournament. We've got multiple Sub-Zeros at the highest of levels for you guys. And, and this is just so ridiculous to see. We just started and we already have 220 people here live with us on Twitch. A warm welcome to every single one out there. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I mean, I'm a little bit excited as well, even though Miss Seeks told me I'm not allowed to be nervous because she is nervous already, you know? Yeah, that's how it works. This this is your stream. I'm allowed to be shaking. Wait. You have to keep us together, all right? All right, guys. So I have to pretend that I'm not nervous here. Let's take a look at the second round. Takinada, 1-0 up. Oh, it's over the forward four. Good roll under that back one and a back throw here from Tigress. And the wind kicks again. No one is safe, Mystics. No, no. Everyone can be caught by it. It'll come when you least expect it. Goes for that down three. Oh, I saw the down two. The forward two opening up. Good jump over. Tigress is out of there. Tries to go for the KB, gets a big punish in the corner for Takinata here. Going for full optimals, drops it again. The gets the is, look at the pressure here from Takinata. He mixes up his strike throw game so solid. I mean, Mystics, you have to guess between overhead, low. Is it a stagger? Is it a throw? It is just so much going on. Yeah, there's just so many options, and he knows how to just change it up. There's no pattern to it. There's no rhyme or reason. It just keeps you guessing. Worst place to do a sub. Good tech there from Taki. Ty rolling out the air to air. Conversion here from Takinata into corner carry. With a nice tag, looking for the S-Lamp. Can't get anything out of it. Good punish on the roll from Taki. He's so consistent with us. Yeah, he is. Right on reaction. Big damage here, and that's enough to close it. Oh no, Tyrus is alive. We see and another throw, Takinada. I mean, you can see he is completely locked in right now. Yeah. This is a Takinada who is looking to win this entire tournament. He said, oh, 5,000 euros on the line? <laughs> Let's mix.
he wants another championship under his belt, but it's not gonna be easy. I mean, by far one of the most stacked tournaments we ever hosted. We have the best players from all across the world, but Mystique's you know there is the lower bracket available, but you don't want to drop down. You want to stay in winners. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, like, there's just such an advantage to being on winner side, especially when you get to grand finals. Like, all you have to do is win one out of two sets. The pressure's on the other person. And we see Ty here with the character switch. Going all of her boy Fujin. For the very first time, Tigress, she is bringing Sindel. Holy guys, one no. day I'm, I'm gonna have that haircut as well, guys. After the hair transplant, you already know it. For sure. I think you could rock it pretty well. <laughs> Round one, fight. So here we go. Tigris with the last resource, so to say, because no other switch is available. Ooh, but here's the tin check. Tin check into 38% whip and flip. Good blocks on the random slides as well. Tigris is going with the mix right now. <laughs> she is going in. <laughs> she really is. Oh, the forward two to open up. And the reset. Forward grab back in the corner here where you do not want to be against Sub-Zero. Tried to anti-air a little too soon. I believe this should be enough damage to close out the round. Yep, just that D2 guaranteed right there. And Takinata is one round away from making it through to the next round. He is looking more than dangerous. Good block on the overhead. Yep, Taki not falling for it a second time. Oh, jumps out of the grab here. Oh no, neutral dox to D2. Big damage. So that was so nasty. By getting the crushing blow, going straight into it again, making up on that life. That is a straight up hit confirmed. Taki forward to the dirty reset. Another one, and we go right to the chainsaw. Finish her. Taki Nada taking this through. Oh, do we? No, I was like, maybe we see the mercy <laughs> taking this 3 0 over Tigris. We see the friendship. Taki Nada and Tigris, thank you so much. For playing GG's to both. And once again, Tigris, you can be proud of what you've achieved so far. I mean, losing to Takinada, we've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> None of us, and for any of you who haven't been there, you don't want to be there. That's just like, playing Takinada Sub-Zero is terrifying. But yeah, that's and Regina a point. has a yeah, point. I was yeah, about she's to say. not out yet. She, she could have that loser's run. We could see her again in Grand Finals. I would love to see it. And I would love to see it as well. But just like that, the first fight officially in the books. And that means we have to take a look at the bracket. What does that mean? Tigress, she drops down to the lower side. And Mystique, I mean, looking at this upcoming match. Just, what do you um, expect here from this one? What are the character picks we might see? Well, we're probably going to see Jackie versus Joker, if I were to guess. Right? Like, I feel like we're going with mains here. And Jet Ring, obviously one of the best uh, Jokers that we have here in, in, in NA. Yes, Kani Mani. I agree. One of the best Jackies that I've ever seen. Um, and... I don't know. Chat, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Poseidon, I know you're in chat. I believe it's a pretty, it's a 5-5 matchup. And in like, in a tournament like this, for me, I would have to stick with my main, you know? Like, it's just, it's all reliable. You've been in crazy situations. You can get the conversions that you can't necessarily get with backups. But both of these are really high level players. They both have pocket characters that they could switch to. But I, I'm thinking we're going to see the mains. Yep, that is right. It's going to be good. But you know what? Let's take a look at the detailed statistics here for both players. They are joining the lobby right now. So let's find out what this match is all about. Because, yeah, I mean, two sweats fighting each other in round number one of this bracket. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. So, here we go. 
Kanimani. And the seeding, look how close it is, Mystic. This means rank number 9 versus rank number 8. Both players with an insane win ratio. On top of that, Kanimani only lost one single set in the qualifiers, Jetring 3. But I mean, three sets in an entire season, that is still a mind-blowing performance. Yeah, I mean, and all these players, like, it's gonna have taken them a mind-blowing performance to have gotten this far, and it's just, these players are locked in, they're really ready to go, playing their hearts out. I'm sure both of these players have been in the lab all day, weeks, etc. I yep. mean, it's just, it, this is as close as it's gonna get, which is why the chat prediction is, is quite interesting. Not We've, what I would have expected to see. Yeah, the, the chat right now, we have 87% believing in Kanimani. I mean, a previous champion in the arena, but Jetring, he definitely has what it takes. Let's take a look, guys. The players are here. Good luck to both. Man, this is going to be it's an insane battle. Yeah, this is going to be nuts. All right, so Jetring here, he is checking the controls first. You want to make sure, Missy, that everything... Wait, what is... What is that? Wait, Pink what here? is this? Cyber Link Wave. What, what is this? Okay, I, I didn't expect this one. Um... Jade? He is actually bringing the Jade, and Kanimani, he knows what he is doing, Missy. This has to be calculated. There is something in this matchup. Let's take a look how he plays it. And look at this in the chat here with the five ball. Round one. This, thank you so yeah. much, brother. Let's see what he, what Connie Monty's been cooking up. Air to air here from Jet Ring, using boing variation, which I love. Oh, okay. Right out of the air, yes. Yeah, gets the glow up. Jade can punish that. I was yeah. thinking for a minute, is there anything yeah. Jade can do? I completely forgot about that Nitro Kick. Yeah, and that's a huge difference is that Jade's gonna be able to punish that Kapow. Not every character can, and some can hold that. Almost gets the conversion off the air. Jet Ring just getting clipped. Alright, we see the Fatal Blow cancel. Delia's Dance doing so much chip every single time. Wallace well, blocks into big punish. I like Dies the side switch from Jetrin. Well. Yeah, I, I see the fatal blow on top, and that means cancel is officially available. Good tech from Kani. Yeah, expecting that throw. Let us see, do that with the 10 euro donation. Thank you so much. In the meantime, Jetrin, he finds the opening. Oh my gosh, what a great Jet Ring flawless block to avoid that chip and then was able to get in and open up, closing out that first round. It was such a huge life lead too from Kanimani. Opens up again with that mid. Double D2, nope. Forces breakaway. Kanimani here trying to create a little bit of space. He wants to get out of that corner. Yeah, but Jet Ring's not letting him. No, just like that, 4-1-2 and Kanimani eating the entire cake for breakfast. Yeah, Kanimani with no access Jet to Ring. bar during that. And just tip here needed. And Jet Ring gets it, takes that first I, match pretty handedly. I cannot believe this, Missy. Jet Ring, he joins this tournament with all the confidence in the entire world, 1-0. He is. Yeah, I mean, Jet Ring right away. Had some great conversions there. Struggled at the beginning though. That Jade was doing well for Connie Mani to start off, but just wasn't able to get the job done. And I'm wondering if we see Connie stay on the Jade or switch to the main. Oh man. Guys, this is already turning into an insane Blockbuster, a big shout out to all you guys out there. 311 people. Missy, we just started. What is this community doing to us? I mean, they're just, they know that we're nervous and they're trying to test our nerves. <laughs> you know what's even more they're interesting? Like, Kanimani yeah. is not switching characters. Yeah, he's, he's staying, staying on the jade. Yep. 
He stays on Jade. He believes in the Jade. I mean, like, I, I definitely respect it. He clearly sees potential for this Jade to carry. Or not carry. But do better. Switch outfits. I'm not sure if he switched uh, variations. I didn't know. Oh, good. Air to air oh, on the a, boing there. Yeah, that was such a great move. I mean, Kani Mani with the young man reaction time. Still a very young player. Don't forget that, chat. Good flawless block into Delia's as well. And that back two is a great anti air. All is block, avoiding the plus frames. <laughs> Again, Jetri, it's not your turn yet. And the chip is insane from Connie. Oh my god, that first round just round taking it. Fight. Controlling the pace and everything. Yeah, the wiggle stick. In action here. Another one. We cancel it. We don't amplify it. Connie getting cheeky with it. The back two. Doing so much work right now. Oh my goodness. This pressure. It's not. Yeah, Look how much life Jetring lost already. Air glaives. That is plus. Connie, that is nice, but that is a big whip, but no punish. No punish. Ducks the throw as well. Gets that KB. This is going to be big damage coming in. Forces the breakaway. But Jetring has a huge life lead to make up on right now. Jade with Delia has so much access to chip. And but just a nice stroke kick. Yep, Kani Mani with the perfect matchup knowledge. Guys, when the box from Joker hits the upper body, I think it's minus 60, if I remember correctly. So it's definitely punishable, and Kani Mani just did that 1-1. Yeah, wow. Kani proving us why he wanted to stay on that Jade. That Jade putting in work. The back two, it, like, completely outspaces Joker's forward two. So, gotta come up with a different game plan, for sure. That is right. And, I mean, just a little information for you guys. Don't forget it. On Monday, mark your calendars. Because, you know what? We don't take any breaks in Rips Arena. Season 13 is right around the corner. So, you guys better join the Discord already and jump in on the hype train here. Because it's gonna be another wild ride. The best players in the entire world competing for the championship and we want to see as many people as possible so guys what are you yeah. waiting for let's get it yeah i mean no matter what skill level you are anyone just Round it's one. a great community to be Fight. a part of we'd love to have you in the next season more dahlias more levels gets go up that back two outspacing the Kapow as well. Back, back two. Darren gets the jump in, gets the cancel, tries to jump over. Short hops and a huge punish there. Closing out that round for Kanimani. And once again, it is so close 1-1, one, one, but right now, Kani Mani looks like he has the download. What was that L2L? It's just, those are those young man reactions, like you were saying, Ribs. Good ducks there. Jet Ring knowing he had just the right spacing and gets that guaranteed D2 on the breakaway. Big damage here. Drops the combo, gets interrupted. Super, super close. Shatrick with the mild life lead. Now it's got a little bit bigger, but here this down too could change anything. So smart from Jetring not to break. Yeah, both of them with win button. Jetring gonna get access to that crushing blow throw. Get access to that cancel. Oh my goodness, so close the chip. And Kani Mani, he is playing it perfect, in my opinion. Takes the risk from time to time just to steal his turn again. <laughs> we saw Delia's dance non-amplified into buttons. And Jetring wasn't ready to press. Yeah, I mean, Hanimani making a huge adjustment after that first match that we saw. 
really controlling the pacing, controlling the space too, which is so important in MK11 for sure. See how Jaring changes it up here. Let's take a look. Is he gonna make a switch? No, he believes in the power of his main character. Joker, it is the final character pick for Jet Ring. Yeah, Joker all the way for Jet Ring here. Locked into this character. And I mean, we can take a little look at the prediction as well, because it is still very, very one-sided. 90%. On Kanimani, only 10% of the chat, they believe in Jet Ring. I believe in Jet Ring. NA, bring it home. <laughs> Uses that boing to get in. Good blocks. It's opened up with the pole vault as well. Boing's out of there. Get to blow up. Good blocks. Still so much chip to eat every single time Delias is used. Good punish here as well into the Kapel. Oh, the restent. Kanimani one touch away. Both of them are. Jet Ring. Jet Ring with access to the cancel. Gets the Jack in the box twice. Gets that cancel, goes for a setup. Thing, Jetrick, not able to whiff punish that. Oh, the flawless block on the jump in. He goes for oh. grab. Goes with a grab and it pays off. Kanemani is one round away from making it through. Round two, fight. Good end there. Short up, short hop. Ooh, and I see a curse here in the chat with the 10 year donation. He is saying toasty. Thank you so much, my friend. Jetring's fighting for his life right now. Goes for that fatal blow. Cancel gets called out on it. Good tech as well from Kani. Mani Kani is on it today. Gets the overhead to finish it. Look at Kani. Out with the little duck in the face and Jetrick, that was one of the fastest disconnects I've ever seen, Miss Six. Um, he was out. That was speed run glitchless any percent out of Mortal Kombat 11. Oh, it was Connie who left? Chat saying it was Connie who left. Oh, it was, oh, oh yeah. But <laughs> GG, what, a, what an incredible match here round number two officially in the books but guys if you expect any breaks tonight i have to disappoint you because this is gonna be non-stop action missiques it's gonna be a wild ride for us let's take a look at the bracket here because coming up next another i mean i don't even want to talk about it we might see the devora mirror i mean I, I expect to see the Devora mirror. I want to see the Devora mirror, even though I'm gonna get very confused as to whose bugs are whose <laughs> and what's flying where. But I know we know that Honeybee has a really strong noob that he's brought out a couple times in tournament as well. I'm not sure. Does Bloodfart have any alternate characters that you've seen him play? Most of the time, we see. The Devora actually, and I'm pretty sure we see it today as well. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting as well. But I mean, Miss Eeks, let's talk about the elephant in the room here. Honeybee, considered the best Devora in the entire world for years now. I mean, whenever yeah. you hear Devora, you think about Honeybee, right? That's of how course. good he actually is. Yeah, I mean making top eights offline making like and winning tournaments online etc like just placements it speaks for itself he <laughs> is just absolutely insane with the character makes her work uses the setup so well is so good at putting somebody in the corner mixing them up it's just it's gonna be battle it is yeah Battle is the right word, and you know what? While these two are joining the lobby right now, 
Let's bring them in. Let's talk about the players here. Honeybee and Bloodfart. 18 sets played on Honeybee's side. 13 sets won. I see what you did there, Honeybee, with the 69% win rate. She did it on purpose. Of course you know he did. You did. Jeez, we both know it. Rank <laughs> he <was> number like, <laughs> five. <laughs> he definitely threw the final game or something for 100%. <laughs> and Bloodfart, on the other hand, rank number 12. 65% win ratio as well. Ladies and gentlemen, the players are in the lobby. Let's get ready for the ultimate sweat. And of course, thanks for being here, everyone. And thanks for making all this possible. Of course, seeing the chat prediction, 85% on Honeybee believing in the best Devora in the world, according to most. But Bloodfart looking looking to, you know, prove Looks, himself here. Did you, did you see how quick he went to the Dibara pick Masiks? That is a sign oh, of yeah. confidence. Yeah, he, he wasn't waiting around. Honeybee <laughs> just, you know, sitting Oh, goes straight to the Devora as well. It looks it like comes. we're going to see it rips. It is time. There can only be one set. Tank Garage Bunker. Battle of the Devoras. Let's see if they're running the same... Oh, different no, they variations. aren't running the same variation. I'm interesting. I'm wondering if uh, one variation is better for the mirror rather Round than one. overall. Fight. Curse, thank you so much for the resubscription in the chat. And here we go, Mystics. It is starting, and I see already 200 oh, no. bucks on the stage. Oh my goodness. There's just so many bugs already. Honeybee opening up first. Low profiling, but it. Good spacing there from Honeybee and into the restand. Goes for the overhead. Bloodfart blocking it. Well, that was Bugs a good cross sum. And look, Mystique, I can't keep up here. I need my glasses. I don't know who is who. I don't know who oh, gets the KB as well. I don't know whose bugs are whose. I don't know whose Devora is whose. But I mean, we can always take a look at the health bar. And right now, Honeybee securing the first round. Fight. Honeybee taking that quickly, too. And you're on the corner with Honeybee. Blood fart. Great confirm there. Into a setup as well. Gonna stick Honeybee towards the corner. Using that forward throw, stick Honeybee all the way in the corner. Start getting the bug setups. Honeybee with the big whip. Yeah, the little buggy bros. Oh, and what a flawless block. block. I'm going for the D2, gets the overhead. Bug setup into back throw too. Yeah, right now you can see Honeybee is trying to go for that corner position. But of course, Devora can't keep up with Devora's range yet. I mean. The Devora Mira, Devora loses 6 4. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the neutral duck in the face. That was so disrespectful. What a throw. Bloodfuck. So close, Mystics. One touch is gonna be enough. Yeah, life lead, but Honeybee does have access to Fatal Blow here. Just one Big hit whip. confirm into it. Good blocks, a lot of chip there, setting up the buggy bros for that jump in. Both of them with access to fatal blow. Honeybee gonna go for that forward throw. It's gonna get the KB and finish it out. Wait, what? I, I didn't, I didn't even pay attention. I didn't even know it was loaded, Miss Six. I didn't either. I was about to say the forward throw, which isn't gonna do enough, but then it KB'd. <laughs> <laughs> it really did. And yeah, if I remember correctly, guys in the chat, please correct me if I'm wrong. This is the highest damage, I think, single hit KB in the game, right? Yeah, I, I think so. It's ridiculous. Great for closing out rounds. <laughs> Dudetta is saying it is so hard to follow this fight. <laughs> guys, imagine you have to commentate it on top. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're doing our best, guys. We got you. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Six and me, not only the players, but we are fighting for our life here as well in the commentator's booth. Yeah, guys, it's a lot harder to commentate than to play in this. So <laughs> I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear the downplay, okay? It's not like we're just sitting here talking about the match, you know? I bet you I'm more nervous Fight. than these players. <laughs> 
Who goes for the full string? Hit with the buggy bros into the overhead as well. Claws. More jump pressure. Honeybee. Good yes, tech. that's what all Devora players do. They love to hold up. And what a KB here with the side switch. Yeah, Honeybee really just has that corner pressure over and over again. Bloodfort working his way out. Gonna possibly side switch. Yep, there it is. Honeybee getting hit by the overhead. Hit by the overhead again. Rolled out and gets the whiff punish. Bloodfart overextending a little bit on that meaty string setup. First round going to Honeybee. Fight. I mean, Mystique's with, with so much money on the line. Honey, what is that KB? Wait, Honeybee! I've literally never seen that move before what, what in the, my life. How does it even trigger? I need help here. I'm, I'm so confused. Tries to use the interactable. Good bounce. Gets the back throw. The six. The chat is saying that KB is rarer than Rips having him. I hate you guys in the chat. I literally hate you. <laughs> oh no. Why is he get the D2 punish? Overhead in the bug setup. Honeybee, do we see another Rob Mystics? He is. Very, very oh, close, Bloodfart. Equipped with the Fatal Blow. Yeah. Going with the slowest projectile in the game. Just throwing bugs back and forth, working on their spacing. Time is gonna start to be an issue here. 15 seconds on the clock. There's a cross. Wait, Honeybee gets. Wait, wait, there's the throw. Oh no, the throw. Is the KB loaded? No, it no. is not. Three, Three seconds. seconds. And Honeybee, that is Shit. so smart because now the timer becomes an issue, Miss Six. Divorce. Oh my goodness. So smart. Kept that life lead, was happy to sit full screen, and it paid off. Two. Oh. Honeybee, only one round away. Yeah. Honeybee looking to close this out 3-0. Assert that Devora dominance. Yo, RH, I see you in the chat. Devora. Devora. But Mystique's right. no switches at all. We stay here with the Devora mirror the to the very end. And once again, a big thank you to this community because we reached another milestone together. $55,000 paid out to the community you guys are ridiculous thank you so much for allowing us to do what we love but now let's see if honeybee can actually close this out with a sweep i'm gonna go for it but overhead confirm devore with one of the longest reaching jump ins sets up the bugs Goes for the full string into the grab as well. Getting that forward throw and Honeybee gets Bloodfart in the corner. Not sure what that hurt box was, Rips. We don't talk here. about it. <laughs> we don't talk about it. One's MK12. <laughs> flawless block on the ace. That was a reverse of flawless block attempt from Bloodfart as well. I saw it. I saw the duck OS there from Honeybee as well. Bloodport not going for the grab though. And the side switch. Yeah, Honeybee, he can just chill there with the dirty chip out move. He is on match point six. One round away. Fart. Honeybee looking to close this out. Flawless block on the overhead. There is that flawless block gap. Boss blocks again! Oh, these guys are sweating. The restand as well into the forward throw. We are not scared. It is unbelievable that Honeybee still has the confidence to just neutral duck in front of his opponent. What an anti! Yeah, what a command grab. Perfect anti there from Honeybee. The duck OS again, getting the KB on the side switch. 
Honey of you with a huge life lead. Oh, what? And the chip. What? What? Missy. Was that a li little back into the friendship there? D did you see uh, that as well, chat? I, I, I think he might have had to do that to get the friendship. I. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, Honeybee. Oh, oh, okay. We let this one slide. Giving him we the benefit of the doubt, okay? <laughs> <laughs> GG's to both. What an insane Devora matchup here. Honeybee staying in the winner's side. I mean, of course, another favorite going into this tournament. Yeah, GG's for sure on both parts. The Devora mirror. Not something you see every day, guys. It's just... One of those ones that you come into Rips Arena and you're like, what is happening right now? <laughs> so today it is going to be Blockbuster after Blockbuster and so on. Because the entire winner bracket is going to be on stream. And let's see how this bracket looks like right now. Because another set just finished. Bloodfart now down in the lower side. Because, by the way, all players... On the lower side, you can play your matches until you reach top 8. That means Tigers and Jet Ring, feel free to play. And I mean, Masix, are you ready for the best Scarlet in the entire world? I, I'm i always ready to watch Macaron play. <laughs> I mean, one of my favorite players to watch, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm not familiar with Divine. Who does Divine play? So, Divine is... A newcomer in the arena. And as always, Mystique, when we first introduced him, we didn't know what this player is all about. But let me tell you something. One of the best spawns I have ever seen. Literally. He is insane. I was so surprised when I saw this man go in for the very first time. Let's see if Makuran can keep up. Yeah, I'm really excited to see this gameplay. Um, we don't get to see a lot of spawns on here, actually, surprisingly. Yep. Here in EU uh, especially, we don't have a lot of them. I mean, Kanimani playing the character from time to time, but besides that, not really. Yeah, we have we have a few in NA. We've got Gunter, we've got K-Mac, but I mean, like a lot of people have pocket spawns. They like spawn as a pocket character, but not really manning him, which is surprising. I don't consider him, I consider him to be like one of the higher characters up there, especially with his damage. The damage output that Spawn can put out is ridiculous. Oh yes, oh yes, 100%. And the invites are out to both players, Divine and Makaran. Please let me know if everything worked. And now as always, we're gonna take a detailed look at the statistics. Here they are, Makaran and Divine, both making it to the top 16 grand finals with ease. And that means rank number 13 versus rank number four and with Makaran we have a two-time champion here on the menu in front of us Mystics. I mean it's ridiculous to think most people try to downplay Scarlet or try to say she's bottom five etc but we've got Makaran making her work and making her scary for sure. Makaran I mean he's crazy sorry? and he's showing us every single day that tier list they don't matter Mystics. Oh no they don't. I mean, <laughs> we just watched a Devora mirror. What are what are tier lists? We're gonna find that out now. Yeah, both of them going straight to their mains. We're gonna see that Scarlet versus Spawn. See what Divine can do. See what Makaran can do. Get hype. We're about to have another crazy set for you guys. <laughs> Vera, thank you so much for the resub. And here it is. The match we waited for. The Scarlet God in action. Heading into it. Just getting that spacing down. Okay, we have the low special equipped. Bomb can keep himself somewhat safe with that. But Makuan, this is some high octane MK. Good control of the spacing. Yeah, tries to go for that parry, but Divine seeing it right away, starting with the low starter, able to get a combo in there. Makaron already with a huge lift, dude, though. And there oh, it is, the yep, because you know exactly what happened, Mystics. A lot of players, they love to duck under, after the standing 3-4 string, to duck the first force ball. 
But yeah, with that special, you can't attack that. Smart, but Makaron just taking that first round so quick. Round two, fight. No projectiles. What? Is, wait, how did that enter? Our mistakes. I that, don't understand what's going what? on here. What the hurt bug? <laughs> All right, watch your toes, Scarlet. Apparently, they extend two feet below you. Using the spacing there, yeah, gets the overhead. Does he go for a second? No, opens up, gets boiling point. That's gonna be a good amount of damage there with that amplification. Caught him, Thank yep. You. you are nowhere safe on the screen against Scarlet. That boiling point. Yeah, especially with the amplification, it can do so much. Macaron really, that air to air, finishing it out. How is Such Macaron a so quick? I don't know. I don't know how he reacts that quick. I mean, guys, you know it. We call Makuran Mr. Meditate and Elevate for a reason. Because he is always calm, always calculated. And that was an insane reaction to the jump there. After the cancel, there it is. Nice and quick to finish out round number one. What a performance here from the Scarlet God himself Scarlet. and i mean here between the rounds Scarlet. we can take a little sneak peek at the rankings on both sides for season 12 pc finals already in the books kanimani our champion over there and yeah this weekend it's time to crown a new playstation champion as well super stacked season so far a lot of great players more than 260 players competing at the same time let's see what season 13 brings 360 players, Rips. Three, three, do you, do you think break. we can get 360, Masik? I think you could. I think you <laughs> could do it. Masik, but then we have to sign up as well. Oh, no. Never mind. You're not getting it. 359, okay. Rips. 359. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marco, he got caught. Oh, and that is a punish. Good roll. Yeah, great roll. Catch. Gets that guaranteed D2 as well. Good spacing there from Makaron. Falls blocked. Good duck. Makaron just gonna close out the round right there. He is so clutch. Yes. His decision making mid match is just ridiculous. Uh, do you want to hear a little fun fact right now, Mystique? Of course I do. Makuran, actually his entire family is visiting him right now. And first of all, he thought about dropping out. But now he is playing and his family is watching this right now. He is oh, with them no. together in the living room. 110% sweat here in the arena finals. That's amazing. That's <laughs> so awesome. So like Glide didn't realize that Divine was running. Glide for spawn. Yeah, shout out to Makaron's family right now. <laughs> but he's, man, Makaron is on a different level right now. The entire family cheering in the back. And what is this run here, Miss Six? Oh my god, a quick 2 0 there from Makaron. Looking to make it our second sweep of the day. Divine gonna need to make a really big adjustment here. Figure out how to open or outspace Macaron. Really struggling. Yeah, but the, the problem, we see that all the time. Macaron, one of the strongest technical players, in my opinion, because when you take a look at his gameplay, at the way he spaces himself on the stage, Spawn. and this man, he got Spawn. every single OS down, Mystique. He knows every yeah. single tech, especially when he is on Scarlet. And right now, D Divine, he is searching for answers, but he can't find them. And he only has this chance now to win versus yeah. Makaran. 2-0 up here, back against the wall. Let's see what he can make out of it. Yeah, see what he can do. Sticking with the charging hell spawn, sticking with that glide. Maybe he'll make more use of it. I mean, Makaran's just understanding of also where he is in relation to the other character what the possible options are you can really see his knowledge here the divine trying to fly across the stage maybe that is the solution but Michael pressure all day long 
bro. Got spacing again. Wow, like, what a stupid six! No, we have to kick him out of the tourney. Yeah, he, he's too sweaty. He's gonna make it all slippery in here. Big damage there from Divine nice opening stagger. up. Oh, those corner combos as well, but gets caught going for the full string. Both of them with Fatal Blow on lock as well. All the plus frames, Divine, he has to be patient. <laughs> oh, close to the D2. What is that trick? Oh. Yo, I've oh never seen that before, Masix. Makoran just teleporting out of the out of the projectiles. Fight. You know, some people dock the projectile. Makoran teleport punishes the projectile, okay? <laughs> Look at the check. No, <laughs> no one is believing what they just witnessed. Oh my goodness. I mean, guys, that is a character specialist right there. A lot of people saying, wow, didn't even know you could do that. Me either, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, holds it. Tries to check with D1. Calls Strange. out the cancel. Divine Spectres doesn't believe in the range of that standing three. Macron switching sides here, looking to get the robbery. That is gonna do it. Wait, not yet. Just chip. Chip! Six, wait. Wait, oh, that opening. Is good. Oh, it's the D1. Oh, smart. <laughs> I was I was scared of the robbery there. Fart. Good teleport by Makaron. An armor break as well. And plus frames again. Oh, we are getting shimmied. Oh, gets the forward grab as well. Keeping Divine in the corner. Oh, the D2, oh no! That's gonna close it out. Makaron taking this 3-0 to move on. Has his whole family there to cheer him on with. That was, I mean, I respect the attempt from Divine there. Uh, the throw KB, it leads into so much damage for spawn. But we have to say it how it is. Makaron just read him like a Harry Potter book in that corner. Let's take a look at the replay. It wasn't even a duck OS. He just committed. Look at it. There it is. The chin check into the 3-0 victory. GG's. But another incredible set in the books. But Miss Eeks, we're not even halfway through. Not even halfway through. How are we going to make it, Rips? This is... <laughs> I don't know. Miss Eeks, Ridiculous. I'm happy that I have you here on the mic with me. Because otherwise I would be lost. I'm happy to be here and I'm sorry I'm not I'm not exactly one that I would say should help guide you. <laughs> but you know I'll do my best here, alright? <laughs> but guys, speaking of lost people, tomorrow, don't forget it, Mr. Aquaman and me on the mic. That means after lost. 30 minutes, <laughs> both of us are gonna be lost. That's how it always is, Miss Seeks. Always I mean we start strong and after a few <laughs> donations, it goes down the drain. But you know what? I'm all in for it! Hey, ends up being a fun time. I love seeing you both on the mic together. Both the goats love to see it. Oh, man. But here, I mean, we could take a little sneak peek at the quarterfinals. Takinada, Kanimani, Hanibi, Makuran. Later on. And now, I hope Aquaman is ready because it is time for a little bit of Kotal Khan action. S a little praise with time. In my opinion, a very big surprise joining us because I say it again and I say it every single time because our players, they were wrong about him. SMC, it seems like he is a very, very active combat league player. And when he joined us for the first time, everyone said, ah, he, he is a combat league demon. He can't win in this. But Mystique, they were so wrong. Literally so wrong. SMC, one of the best Kotal Khans we have in Rips Arena, a super big surprise, super constant level of sweat as well. So it's gonna be hype, even though he has one of the most complicated PSNs I've ever seen in my entire life. But that doesn't matter tonight, because versus Stormbreaker, it is gonna be a good fight. I expect Kotal Khan versus Kung Lao. 
Maybe Stormbreaker goes for a little surprise, brings the most demonic Sub-Zero we have ever seen, oh, but no. I don't think so. I think it's going to be oh. time for the Lao. I feel like Lao has got to struggle against Kotal. Um, Lao like, really needs to be in close to start his strike throw game that he relies on so heavily. And Kotal just, you know, forward two. That's <laughs> <And it's> just... <laughs> so, not, I just... Not the good old forward two mistakes. <laughs> Just the good old forward two. You see it from Sub Zero. You see it from Kotal. See it from everybody. <laughs> but I feel like that must be a really good, useful tool. Uh, Kotal just outranging Kung, in my opinion. But I, I don't know. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, chat. But yeah, I'm expect. sending out these invites right now, and you guys better get ready for another crazy set which is about to happen let's bring the viewer prediction as well because guys don't forget you can earn channel points in this right now we have 84 percent on smc mistakes do you want to talk about this performance here look at the ranks from smc outstanding that's insane only two sets lost a third place league rank and you said this is smc's first season ever it is yep that's just, I mean, what a statement to make. Coming into Rips Arena, where you have some of the sweatiest players, and pulling out a third league rank on the <laughs> PS4 side out of 260 people. Yeah, that is it's ridiculous. It is insane. So many people here all across the world. So, guys, you know what to do. Season 13 is gonna be a bloodbath, and hopefully, you guys are just excited for it as i am so exclamation point discord in the chat join it and on monday hopefully we're gonna have the craziest season kickoff ever at least that's what i hope for so make sure to join it and of course if you want to go the extra mile we have a very active youtube channel as well we just crushed 7,000 subscribers over there and yeah we are going for 10k that's so exciting uh, it's it's a great great youtube channel guys you get full vods you get to see every match you can skip to which ones you want they're clipped etc i highly suggest you go subscribe there follow here subscribe if you can here don't forget twitch prime if you have amazon prime you get one free twitch subscription and you should spend it on rips <laughs> Musiques, all for a good cause because that hair transplant it has to it has to come I this mean, year yeah, we need it, guys. Like, I mean, we're all going blind here every single time <laughs> Ritz puts on the camera. Not you as well, Mystics. <laughs> and you know what, guys? Do you see SMC's PSN? Mystics, how am I supposed to type that in? How? SMC, ooh, woo. Yeah. Ooh, woo. Exactly. Yeah. Eosus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Stormbreaker representing KWA and SMC. That mid command grab is loaded. Oh no. Running totems as well. I love seeing Kotal's running totems because my god, can you do some gross damage. Round one. No Fire. intros at all. We're going right in. Yeah. Aquaman <laughs> already praising the sun in the chat. And there's the first command grab. First command grab after getting a totem up. Imagine just getting hit by a command grab and eating 31% stuff. And here we can see two beautiful different variation names. We have thank you rips from Stormbreaker. That is so beautiful. Oh, and so we nice. have the other one, we can't even say it without getting demonetized. Uh, yeah, you guys can look at it for yourself, and uh, you know, it just shows that there's a... Uh, <laughs> Three stacks! <laughs> Three stacks of armor break, 44%! That was gross! <laughs> Aquaman! Aquaman, what was, what was that? <laughs> Dylan, thank you so much for the gifted sub in the chat. What is that start here? That starfish hit for 250? Oh, I didn't even notice that. With the totems, do interactables do more too? Uses that low. Gets the interactable. Short hops. Tries to grab, but it whiffs. And SFC, I mean, he looks more than ready to make it to the next round. Stormbreaker. Jump in. There's the launch of the corner. Dropped it. Maybe the tournament nerfs Mystique. Yeah, could be. Just 
getting into it, Buzzsaw. Gets just walk up, mid command grab, amplify, into the brute. You don't need your head. You don't need the top half of your body. You just need to praise the sun. Oh my god, this Kotal rips. <laughs> SMC, I mean, I think Aquaman in the chat is literally powering up our Kotal Khan players here in the arena. Dylan, with another gifted sub to the community. Oh. Thank you so much, brother. Rambo Lloyd with the gifted subs. Glad to see you in here, man. Look at this replay mystique. Three seconds. Look, at, there is the damage. Look, the starfish alone did so oh much. Oh my god. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> I mean, I saw Aquaman saying in chat, don't let him get three totems. Don't let him get three totems. I mean, it's like one hit death. It's ridiculous. It is just crazy. Just as crazy as this community is. A big and warm welcome to every single one out there. Welcome to our Season 12 Grand Finals. We got the beautiful Mystiques on the mic. And yeah, it is the record season of the arena. And I can't wait what the future brings. Especially with this community in the back. Alright, getting right into it. Stormbreaker starting it off. Goes a little too early for that throw. It whiffs. Command grab, gonna go ahead and amplify it. Get the first one, get the first totem up with dive kick, good punish. Buzzsaw. Two totems up. Yep. Oh, this is, this is big damage. This is 28. And again, three string. stacks. Aquaman said you have to watch out when this happens. Yeah, get away from the totems. <laughs> ah! Oh, the pizza! Closing it out with that KB. <laughs> Stormbreaker's even oh, on the mic. No. Oh no, he, he, I mean Stormbreaker's from Germany. You say, oh man, I'm so sad. I'm dropping everything. <laughs> oh no. No, and he gets sniped another time. God. Can see whiffing that command grab. Silence. Big damage here. Good rollout. Stormbreaker getting those buzzsaw setups now. How did you? Ah! <laughs> no SMC. Can you maybe relax for a minute? What are those three? <laughs> oh no! Total Khan wins. Oh, oh my! He Ooh. did not. Ooh. What is what is your SMC? You have to relax for a minute, okay? <laughs> you have to relax, brother. Holy crap. Oh, man, Miss Six. This is such an unforgiving Kotal. <laughs> but he is making all the reads in the world back to back to back. Kotal Khan. Over and over. Over. Oh my god. And Variety Squad does have a good point. Why are you telling players to relax? There's 5k on the line. SMC wants that 5k, clearly. Not messing around at oh. <laughs> all. That is, that is a very good point, Variety. But unfortunately for the players, I already ordered a golden wig on Amazon Prime for 5k. I'm sorry, guys. This is all for fun tonight. GG's well played. See you later, everyone. We are out. Yeah. No more money. Take it and run. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Mac. Thank you for the Prime subscription, my friend. Yeah. Good jump in there. Stormbreaker starting it off. 30%. One totem is up, and that's a big punish on the block dive kick every single time. Such an unsafe move. But once again, SMC continuing his reign of terror. Two totems. Yes, two totems. And gets the air to air. Oh my god, catches the breakaway. Gets the sun up as well. Oh my god, not the... <laughs> what is... <laughs> we okay, jump for guys, joy here in Rips. just speak about 5k on the line and these guys... I, I don't even know what this is. Oh my... Oh, sends the sun towards Stormbreaker. He's got to teleport out. He's hiding. Give me your <laughs> Round two, fight. Goes to put another totem up, gets caught by the dive kick as he does. Oh no, amplified. Yep, and this is gonna hurt, especially 
I mean, Colton Khan right now, just as shiny as my forehead, Missy. Look at this buff here. Look at the damage. Just a jump in, and you're getting over 30%. SMC looking to close this out. Stormbreaker fighting back. Big damage here. Goes into Fatal, spending it because why not? All right. You see a robbery. Goes for the full string. It's unsafe. <laughs> what did he say? Look at that. Oh no. What is it SMC. doing? But we oh, go right so into the friendship, Mystique, taking a little sunburn. Stormbreaker, SMC, thank you so much for playing here today. Yeah, GG's SMC. It was a pleasure getting to see you play for the first time. Man, but Your Kotal is terrifying. The reads, Mystique, back to back. That was so nasty. He basically erased that entire health bar in two seconds. <laughs> Stormbreaker in the chat saying that he won the jump challenge, <laughs> which I'm proud. I think that was the true battle that just happened, to be honest. No, Stormbreaker, you can be just as proud as everyone. Making it here yeah. to the finals. And don't forget, there is still the lower bracket available. Yeah. Make that run back. See you again in grand finals. Would love to see it. He's going to have to play against... Wait, what is what is oh, this next upcoming next. match, Mystique? This is one of the most hilarious showdowns ever because it is gonna be Desarded versus Gollywomp. Our yes. Baraka loyalist making it into the finals. I, I wait. love to see Baraka in the finals. I'm not gonna lie. I <laughs> love Baraka. I considered playing him, maining him. He is a sick character. And I mean, do we even need to talk about this? Started? You guys know who he is now. We all know who he is now. We know who he plays. We know that mix that's coming in. Oh yeah, 100. I mean, Desarded and Takinada. The Mix Masters. Let's take a look at the cards because yesterday, golly, he won our warm up top eight. VL and me hosted that yesterday for the community or with the community. But let's see, can golly deliver one more time now when there is so much on the line? Now it counts. Let's take a look at the cards though because Desarded, even though he didn't join the grand finals this time, as a top five seeded player, I mean, still ranked number six here in the end, losing four sets in the qualifier. And on the other side, we have Golly losing six of them, but still ranked number 11 in the league. Yeah, great performance from both of these players throughout the entire season, clearly. And the chat, 94% on Disarted. Not believing in the Raka. <laughs> they don't. We're in the character select screen. Let's have a look what we are about to witness. And as expected, it is Baraka. Yep. It's Baraka versus Sub, just as we expected. Both on their mains, both locked in. Both want this 5k ready to go. Also, shout out. Thank you for the 382 of you in here. Shout out to the YouTube. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. And we love, we love watching these matches with you. That is right. A big shout out to the community, of course, for always showing up, for always bringing the hype, not only here live on Twitch, but of course in the YouTube comment section as no well. And we get intros one greatness. more time, Mystique. That means they Will want to sweat. Give up your oh, ways. yeah. Oh, I really Let's like this Raka outfit. Not gonna lie. Gollywop won the Raka. Wait, what? Street for violence to start it off. Gets gutted. Doesn't spend the KB yet. Look at and puts the name. flag out. OMG Raka. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, but what is, what is Goli doing? He is working on a flawless right now. Big life lead. I jinxed him. I'm sorry. Yeah, how dare you? Commentators cursed him. The breakaway just goes for a back throw there. Started. Probably goes for the spine burst. Good blocks. 
Oh, gets caught by the random slide. And forward two opening up, going for the KB here in the corner. Just needs ship to close out. <laughs> Got one to close it out here. Into fatal blow, that should be enough. We'll have to see the scaling. Oh no, it's scaling hard, Rips. But, but it, it's, it's gonna bite. Oh no. Oh, he's still breathing. Oh, What's the read? Both. What's the read? Oh my god. No. no! No way, Mystique! No way! Oh my god, tried to go for that flawless block on the ice ball, he needed it. But even Disarted oh, is in the chat saying, Golly, not like this! Disarted, get out of the chat! There's 5k on the line, dude! <laughs> no. Big damage into that corner carry as well, 33%. Good to, what a Good slide. Uh, using that low to open up. Out of the air. Good spine burst. Forward 4 4 looking for that KB. Gets the guaranteed D2 on that breakaway as well. But and he started this. taking this first one. Super calculated. This is all business for him. I mean, how many tournaments has he won already? Not only here in the arena, in so many other EU-based tournaments. Always up there in the finals. Just a great player overall and very, very hard to beat. Yeah, and I mean, just been in high-pressure situations so many times as well. We're not going to see him really dropping combos, etc. Tournament nerves, all of that. Just gonna see some high level gameplay for sure. Yeah, and you guys, who else is gonna bring high level gameplay? The boy Nero, there he is. Hey, lost high. Doggo, <laughs> hype is part of the entire stream. <laughs> I love that the entire chat is already spamming the Nero emotes. Great is saying Nero is S tier. <laughs> he is. Nero actually is the one getting the 5k. Sorry, guys. And you can't be mad because it's Nero. That's true. Golly wants putting on the Devora skin. Oh no, I take back everything I said about him winning the skin game. <laughs> Tries to go for that mix. Ducks. Baraka actually with a decent projectile. Good interrupt here, Golly. Now with the command grab equip. Oh, what did I do? That forward two into ice ball there from the Sarded. Forcing the breakaway, but Golly gonna get a good amount of damage off of that. Bleed damage on top. Chop, chop. Goes for the chip out with the chop. Blood block. Good block. Guys, it's blockable! <laughs> <laughs> Round two, fight. Thanks, oh, God. Plus, oh, okay, great. Great. There was a oh my God. Beautiful flawless block right after the plus frames. Oh. Ooh, yeah, I can block KB a little bit too late. Well. Gets so much bleed damage off of that. I really like this variation switch from Golly. Six. Golly's going for it. Golly, don't be too patient. No, the input error. No. Down one flag is definitely not what he wanted. But here he comes. Finish him. Golly, finishing it out, bringing it fun to fun. We've got a set on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, you better Golly. put your seatbelts on right now because the boy Golly. He is here for one reason, and that is not only for your entertainment out there, he wants to win. Yeah, he does. I love the variation switch. I love the adaptation here from Golly Womp. And, I mean, you know as well as I do, Desarda is going to make just as much of an adaptation. going to change oh, it again. Oh, 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 Stormbreaker! I, I like that Stormbreaker. Before he dropped it, he just sent so a message cute. saying, Bomb. Get ready, Stormbreaker. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs here to the community so that no one has to watch ads tonight. 
And of course, guys, this supports me as a streamer tremendously as well. So thank you guys for the support, for being here. I mean, the best community on Twitch by far. And with your help out there, I had to flex it again, Mystique. I'm sorry. $55,000 raised for the community. Good space in there from Gali. Gets the low. Into the... Play charge. Press out space. Kinda gotta hold that! Yeah, it's really hard to get around that box! Golly, can he keep his coolness? He has the lively to start it sliding in those DMs! Yeah, slides right under the projectile. Really good spatial awareness there from Disarted. He does it on block! Oh no. Guy Womp taking this first round. And Mystique, you know what that means as well? For the very first time, Golly, he is in the lead as well in the entire set. Yeah, he yeah. is looking to take this second match on the board. Stormbreaker. <laughs> you know, and Stormbreaker said, you know what? A little bit for the price money as well. I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Stormbreaker, for that. Stormbreaker, I want to see that run back. I want to see you in grand finals, man. Long plus frames. Checks. I like Only the being really patient. Again, the poke special for the side switch. Diving there on sub zero. The forward two opening him up, getting guaranteed D2. Oh, wakes up and gets him with the ice ball for it. We've got ourselves a final round. Fight. <laughs> oh my goodness. I see Crane's message in the chat. Crane, you might be right. That's probably what it is. Oh, golly. Oh, wait, that is the punish. Hulk gets caught again by it! <laughs> that is so... Man, that is so hilarious. You can't get... can't escape the chop chops. I don't know what to tell you, Ribs. Oh, good freeze. Holly being so patient against the D2 as the anti-air. Overhead at the end of that string. Golly. Golly, what is the read? He tries to break this out and can't oh. find it, but the super delayed forward two. Oh my god, he dropped it for a second, but this started was able to finish out that round, going up two to one against Gollywomp. But that is such a close showdown. APK in the chat is saying the same thing. That was close, and it really is. Golly, right now he is playing out of his mind and even though a lot of people in the chat voted on this Arded, this is a very, very close match. Yeah, this is insanely close. Both players playing out of their minds right now. And here is the final prediction on top. 87% on this Arded. We have 155k. And only 20k on the boy Golly. But he could be the upset of the day if he really kicks out our arena champion to the lower bracket. I mean, I could see him doing it. He's playing really well right now, especially with staggering that leg kebab, etc. It's just, it's working out for him. Round one. And the six, we made it 400 people in the chat. I'm getting nervous now. I've, I've been nervous this whole time. You didn't have to point that out to me, Rips. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't unhear it. Forward two opening up. Forward two again goes for the full string. Golly Womp said no more forward twos. Get in the corner. Good jump in. Good jump in. And again, the chop chop. The chop chop. Can't escape it. Oh, the he presses on it! Don't want chop chop. No yes. bleed damage. And I, 
you see what the Sardis tried. He tried to flawless block on Wake Up because he knows that was the only way out. Got the short top input because Golly didn't press. What a block. Ah! Gets the 4 4 4 to start it off. Gets that KB and 6 to start it back in the corner. This is your home now. You live here. Hope you enjoy it. It's a pretty tight space. Oh, and Desarted just waked out the chop chop that time. Not even trying to Another punish it. Incredible block at Desarted's offense. It is trembling. It is cracking. Golly, wait. What is that flag, Golly, in neutral? Excuse me. Definitely, I missed him, but there's no way he meant to put that flag in his face. Okay, goes into Fatal Blow here, Desarted going ahead and spending it. It's gonna do a good amount of life, but it's not gonna get him even close to being even. Fatal Blow on lock here for Golly. Wait, Golly, one touch. No, the chip. He goes for the Golly, lock. Golly, the flawless block. Oh. Wait, no follow up. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry that the commentary is getting a little bit loud in here, but this is hype. And you know what, guys? I don't care what you say. No way. And just like that, we have the first game five of the night and you I, you see the chat already Masix. they know what to do everyone oh, yeah. out there first of all welcome to the arena and now you better spam that exclamation point ao in the chat we have 400 plus zero. people in the crowd golly and disarded they are fighting for everything and there can only be one so let's set it on fire let's have a little party in here Mystique's on the mic. It can't get better than this. And I hope you guys are ready because here we come. All right, we got ourselves a game five. We're skipping the intros. We're getting right into it. The arena is on fire. And could you ask for anything more? I don't think so. Started starting with the life lead here. Up what a read, no oh, punish! Good jump! Dolly Long going ahead with that meaty. Ooh. Or two into the interactable disarted. Swapping that big hammer! Speed running that first round. Round two. Dolly Long gonna need to bring it back. Sit it's down. D2 on the jumping. Staying in the corner, not where you want to be. Forward to open up. Force to sprint break away. Oh, golly, he, oh, he no. thought it's the stagger, but they started doing it on block again. Golly getting caught by, but gets that forward, four, four. It's getting get messy in here. After. I mean, there's so much on the line, golly. <laughs> Sorry, with the back and forth. Forward two. Is this going to be enough damage to kill? KB incoming. It is. One of the closest matches of the evening, but in the end, this hearted. He barely made it. I mean, all I want played out of his mind. Sardin played out of his so, mind. That yes. was a roller coaster of a set. That was ridiculous. It was such a good set. I completely agree with that one. Perfect gameplay. And golly, he really played out of his mind in this one. Very close yeah. match. Nearly took down the champion. But of course, he is not out yet because the lower side is still available. And there is Golly in the chat saying, I love you all. You know what, guys? Can we get some big G's in the chat for the Baraka God himself bringing the hype to the grand finals today? Yeah. What great gameplay there from Golly Womp. Look at all the G's Love in the chat, see. Golly. Only for you. That was a beautiful match. Yeah. The people love it. The people love the Raka. <laughs> and I mean, he deserves it. I mean, 
Can you imagine the struggle? Vial, uh, uh, Vial, Mystique, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm already... I mean... Oh, no. <laughs> wait, Vial, you're looking beautiful tonight. Wait, I'm what just, was that, Aquaman? <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I Abel, mean you, that set was insane, right? Oh, man. It was incredible, but yeah, Golly always brings the hype. I mean, the struggle you have to go through as a Baraka loyalist in MK11, I don't even yeah. want to imagine. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be ridiculous. I mean, Baraka struck. Imagine, imagine being a Baraka loyalist and going up against a Cetrion. Or like a Robocop. How do you feel about your life then? Like, it must be such a struggle. It takes so much patience. I agree. I definitely agree. But now, Mystix, it is time for one of the viewer favorites. The Rain oh, yeah. God himself is entering the big stage right now versus Uvility. And yeah, I can't wait. Son for of a bat. Son of a bat. He is a insane. Crazy rain. His movement is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, Uvility also a very high level competitive player as well. Clearly showing that, I mean, by being in this top 16, everybody's going to be that. Yeah. But, I mean, it's just really exciting. And also, I just, a shout out to the 420 of you in here. You know, 420 people is pretty crazy. It really is. But, I mean, you know what? These players, they deserve it. They deserve all the spotlight in the world. And now, let's get it. Uvility, son of a bat. Here they are, rank number seven. 62% win ratio on Uvility side. Son of a bat even mm -hmm. topping that. With 72%, yeah. he only lost three sets in the qualifiers. Let's see what the chat thinks. I expect a very close match and potentially another game five. Yeah, I could 100% see this going to a game five. Um, and it looks like the chat is pretty much close to 50-50 on it. I mean, son of a bat, definitely a fan favorite for the chat. I know you guys love watching it, but I mean, just the ability, we can't downplay his Jackie. His Jackie is ridiculous. So it's really just going to come down to the players. We'll see. That is right. And the prediction right now, 61% on Uvility. It is changing as we speak <laughs> now. Very, very close to 50. I'm seeing Saudi Arabia, Norway, France, Netherrealm. I mean, all the way from Netherrealm. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Germany, Romania, forces, I mean, we're seeing people from all over right now. We, You've gone more than international, you've gone global. <laughs> oh man, I, got... I love, a lot of people always say, you know what, Rips Arena is officially a major tournament now. But guys, Uvility, gonna bring the ultimate sweat, we go right to the Jackie Briggs. And son of a bad, yeah, the rain is incoming. Yeah, here we go. Playing out the intros as we like I to see. I did not grant you an audience. We need one to watch me smack you down. Your skills are useless against a god. Round one, fight. All right, heading into it. Getting the goop down. One of the fastest projectiles in the game from Rain. Oh, look at this <laughs> so, movement already. I was about to say, he looks like a race car. What is that entire on reaction as well? Oh my <laughs> god, how do his, so his hands move? Fast. Hell! Oh, bloody trying to shoot me. And that is smart that he finished the string. That was a hard read there. Yeah, it was. Gone with the back throw here from Jackie. Wake up. Gets opened up on the jump in. Goop now gonna have that dot damage. Forcing breakaway. Oak special. Ability, what do we see? Do we see something crazy like a dash punch? Oh, tried to anti it there. Son of a bat, not getting it. In the fatal. Oh, gets robbed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ability robbing for our first round of our first match. 44%, just oh, like that. Round two, fight. on sitting in the dot damage as well in the corner against Jackie. This is a really tough position for son of a bat. 
gets grabbed again. Forward throw, keeping in the corner. So Forward throw again! Whips it. Some of that. Yep, like unfortunate input error and humility. He is not forgiving those. First round secured. Yeah, first match going to Uvility, almost pulling off a flawless there that second round. Showing what that Jackie can do. And uh, Son of a Bat gonna need to be able to make that adjustment. I really liked seeing those anti airs from Son of a Bat on reaction, really useful against Bionic Bounce, etc. And he's just gonna need to find more ways to open up. That is right. And let's take a look at the bracket in case you guys maybe just tuned in. Jackie. Here it is after this MK Javier versus Kitana Khan. And hopefully Javier and Kitana Khan are both listening right now because for the second round, for the quarterfinals, we are gonna prioritize Son of a Bat's match if he wins. Just as a little heads up here because he has to leave for work later on. Of course, if Uvility wins this, then this uh, matches are off stream anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yes, MK Javier is gonna play on stream. Yes, every match on the winner's side is on stream. Every single one. Oh, just walking down into the throw! Son of a bat just sitting there blocking, not calling it out. Corner carry there with 23%. The overhead. Oak. Son of a bet he tries to take his turn back, but Jackie Briggs, we both know it, Mystique's a pressure machine. Buttons all day long. Once she gets going, it's really hard to keep her from reinforcing all of those different auto shimmies, etc. Especially in the corner. Jackie Briggs, one of the hardest characters to get out from. Goes with a dash punch with his whiffs his throw. Son of a back getting opened up again. Back throw. Good tag from Son of a Bat. Escape failed. Luckily, Jackie doesn't get crushing blows on her throws. At least not from Escape Fail. Good tag, Son Good of a Bat. Tech. But yet, so many input errors there. I mean, ability just. Like a train running through him. Looking working for the speed runs. I mean, seriously, looking for that quick into quarterfinals. King Engine is saying that combo though. Let's take a look at the replay. Wait, Hody saying in chat, time to switch from keyboard to pad. Does Son of a Bat play on keyboard? I don't think so. I've known some players who like on PC, they play yeah, on keyboard. I know a few of them as well. I guess it's kind of like playing on Hitbox. All right, Hody, you were, you were kidding. I was like, I know some people do some crazy things. So I've seen some of the like key boxes that people bring to competitions that are like a giant guitar. I've seen somebody play on a Guitar Hero guitar. All right, <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Alright. Son of a bat looking to reverse this. Can he get it down? I believe. Uh, those are, all these errors. input errors, they really cost him so much, especially considering that all the damage from Jackie is unbreakable. Yeah, they really are. He's out spacer. The projectile. Good ducks. Son of a bat just sitting there blocking, turtling a little bit. Really I don't dead. know. <laughs> if you guys don't play on dance mode, you're missing out. <laughs> Imagine the six. I'm no. That's now how I play at MK11. That is my main way. I'm bringing. I'm bringing a DDR Fart. dance mat to the offlines. All right. That would be hilarious. Yo, Big Bamboo, you're welcome. <laughs> Overhead. 
input error again. And yeah, I think we, we saw at least nine of them. At least. Yeah. Get some. We eat 31% at the minimum. Even with spending breakaway for that, it just hurts so bad. In the dot damage here, you ability looking to close it out. And this is gonna Ooh, do it. Your ability with the 3 0. Making it into the next round. Upscans, I see you, of course. Nice to see you back, brother. 3 0 there. Looking at that sweep from Uvility. Heading his way straight into the quarterfinals. Ready to go. That is right, Uvility. But I feel so bad for Son of a Bat because all these input errors. They really cost him so much. Yeah, they did. I mean, I wonder what was happening that uh, he kept getting that same input what he was going for. But, I mean, Uvility really just taking that opportunity, making unbreakable damage every single time, and making it hurt. And just like that, we have Uvility advancing in the bracket as... Well, and now we have the final match, the final showdown of round number one. And it's going to be MK Javier Messix. I'm pretty sure you are and excited for Kitana this. Katana Khan, just a force to be reckoned with. Oh, Definitely yes. one of the best Cetrions in the world. Ridiculous player. So it's going to be a hell of a match. Round one, fight. All right. Oh, wait, he's running the fireball! No way! Yeah. <laughs> what, is, what is that secret tech here from the jalapeno? Oh my god! In a 5,000 euro tournament, he is running the fireball. Watch your toes, <laughs> Cetrion. Because he's throwing it. Oh, good job, work. Pressure there with the rock wall into the restand, into the forward throw. Cetrion classic right there. Javier starting to get these staggers going. That is a punish all day. Punish. Gonna put Cetrion in the corner as well. Rock wall right to the face. Javier, look at the active frames. Did you see that? How late it actually connected? Big chip there from Cetrion and just Hell's Flame to close it out. Might. I still haven't gotten over the fact that Javier is running the fireball. Get the full screen KB Spear. Gonna do the jump to four. Going for full optimals here into hard knockdown. Great jump in as well. Going for that jump in OS with the spear. Checks. Back three is blockable, believe it or not, guys. Oh, good duck underneath the health port cancel grab. And Katana Khan gonna get a solid 39% into a restand after that. There's the fireball no, again, Mystics. There's, there's the fireball. We have the fatal blow on deck. He needs to find the confirm now. Goes for the cancel. This gets clipped. Javier backing up, jumps over the ground pound. And this is gonna oh, do it. it. Rocks right to the face. And Kitana Khan taking the lead in the set 1 0. Yeah. Wow. Great first match. Not sure why Javier is running the fireball, but. I mean. Great match from both of them. Katana Khan using that rock wall really well. Like you were saying, the active frames are ridiculous on that. The fact oh, that the air got clipped, it's just so much. But yeah, I, I I mean, that was so close. I could see this going to a game five, let's be honest. <laughs> and let's take a look at our special guest chat. There he is, not impressed. No, he said do better. <laughs> Shaolin Trap Dungeon. Lady Elm was saying, boop the snoot? No, guys, I can't do boop it. Boop the snoot. Should I do it, Mystique, real quick? Yeah, you should boop the snoot. Okay.
He's like, what's happening? He's like, I hate you so much. <laughs> the mascot of the stream. All right, Javier running buff now. No longer running that fireball. It was fun while it lasted. Uses the teleport. Attack, Javier, was he get running off me? full searing rage? Oh, I think so. Is that cool? Are you still in chat? He uses the block, gets the spear, teleport as well. It's gonna hurt. Drops it. Oh no, full punish here from Katana Khan into the restand. Back throw. Javier just looking to outspace right now. Gets hit by that standing one salad lady. Or three staggers. And the restand by the tornado in the corner to finish out that first round for Katana Khan. Looking really good right now. Fart. What that is it? At least the rock oh. wall punish, but Kitana can't decide not to do anything. But Javier getting shimmied. Do we see the restand? There it is, plus nine. Good jump out. Get the four, three, four to hit. Gonna keep Kitana Khan in the corner here. Use that spear. Great 34% as well. Oh, tries to go for the stagger into the throw. Kitana Khan duck OS's it. Back three over her head. Female hurt box. We love to see it. Trust me. And just one more hit here for Katana Khan or Chip. The back three can Javier rob with the fatal. Goes no. into the restand. No. What's no, the play here, for No! He's like, the you know what? One. I don't care about your plus frames at all. 2 Oma 6 Carlos is in danger. Oh no. 2 1 here for Katana Khan. Just absolutely ridiculous play. I thought we were going to see a robbery there. Also, shout outs to the 450 of you Scorpion. watching us. But, I mean, so speaking glad of you're shout outs here. here, you guys know what to do. You better follow the beautiful Mystiques. They're at the top of the chat. You don't even have to leave us for that. You can just click the button and then you will never miss a Mystique stream. Wait! <laughs> oh my god! Big Baba oh. Frankie! You say, you know what, chat? Let's go, everyone. Let's crush this goal one more time. Can we get some BBFs in the chat? Oh, crap. Or cancel. Down four. Into the grab. No mercy. Gets the four, three, four as well. Gets the buff up. Javier backing up from Katana Khan. No, right. yeah, I'm not gonna adjust the goal anymore. No, it, it is enough. Tornado gets caught by the rock wall on the jump back. Buff up for Javier. Tries to shimmy. Session on getting that restand. Kana can't also with the shimmies. Oh my god, great spacing and punish there. The front throw. But Kitana can't the defense impeccable sitting there like a turtle, like a snapping turtle, Missyx, waiting to strike. I mean, ridiculous. Also, that Hell's Flame on reaction to close out the round. To teleport in here from Kitana Khan. Into the restand, into the restand. Into the restand. <laughs> oh my god, this pressure from Katana Khan right now. And the KB! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Katana Khan oh, ground pounding his way to victory. Javier has a lot of life to make up for. 
Mine isn't gonna be able to do it. Katanacon closing this out 3 0. Uh, but see, th th this is not looking friendly right now. No, no, not looking too friendly. Uh, Cetrion's looking a little ginormous right now. Oh, Ooh. yeah, no, that's not too great for a scorpion right there. Cetrion My boy. Wins. G. My boy got melted. Jeez, MK Javier now kicked down to the lower bracket. Guys, it's getting a little bit spicy in here tonight. That means round number one is now officially completed mistakes. We still have four more sets though. I mean, I'm ready for it. I, I hope you are. I hope all of you guys are ready for it because it's only going to get more sweaty from here. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's only going to get more crazy from here, all right? That is true. Let's take a look what this actually means for the lower side. Son of a Bat and MK Javier, please play the set now. Javier, because son of a bat, he has to leave for work. So make sure to play it immediately, please. And now the quarterfinals are completely set as well. And look at those names. We have Takinara Kanimani. That are, those are two arena champions already. Honeybee versus Markuran for the EU NA oh showdown. God. SMC <laughs> Desarded and Uvility and Kitana Khan. And who do we see from Takinara? Because Kanimani, he's on Joker. Interesting. So Takinara taking his time. I mean, versus Kanimani, you gotta make sure to bring your A game. Yeah, I mean, he's probably wondering, same as us, why, why Joker? Sub-Zero. And we see the sub. Of course. Look at the prediction though. 61% on Kani right now. Taki is definite. I'm there's no way I don't call Taki Nada disarded at some point during this set. <laughs> I apologize in advance. <laughs> Letting the intros rock. Let's go. Round Quarter round finals, finals, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the trade to start it off. The raw slide, but Kani, he is ready for it. Yeah. I think I blocked those. Nice ball. Get launched. And just the down two. We want the secure damage. Another forward two find its way. Oh, good jump in there, too, as well, from Takinata. Getting the corner carry. Forward two, just to open up. Went for the forward two slide. That's dirty. I see you, Takinata. That's dirty. <laughs> Round two. Fight. Nice ball, good block. The forward four, does he go for it again? Nope, just gets that back one. Good flawless block. Jumps in, the ice ball, and the slide into the corner. Uh, yeah. Into 30 plus percent, more pressure incoming. Kind of getting opened up by that forward two every time. Does he spend it? <laughs> Makes the six down to, yep, that is it, good spacing. Speed run there from Taki. I was about to Are say the same, yeah. <laughs> Are we going to see the character change? Do you think so? I mean... Connie, is it the Jackie? Is it Jackie time? I don't... I don't... I'm not sure how uh, Jackie would do better than Joker in this matchup, but I can understand how a main would do better in this matchup. You also have to account for how many times have these two players played each other? I can't even how count well do they know each other's yeah, play? How many times have they watched each other? I mean, oh my god! Oh no! Okay. Oh, no. Six, I'm leaving. You know, you know, no, Miss I'm, I'm leaving first, Miss Six. I'm leaving no, first. No, oh my god! I'm out of no, here. <laughs> you left. You left me. You left me alone. <laughs> I'm by myself, guys. Alright, let's talk shit about rips. 
<laughs> wait, what? <laughs> oh, wait, he's back? Oh, oops. I wasn't saying anything, don't mind me. What do you mean I'm back? I'm already <laughs> on the couch watching Netflix. <laughs> oh no, the mix is getting brought back to Chucky. Johnny was like, I can mix too, alright? <laughs> Queen City, I agree. Oh my god, and just like that, Connie takes the first round. Fight. Oh, Four, two, two and a three. Three. Can we spend it? Nah. Save that for round three if it comes. Oh, that was oh, that was close. He was looking for that armor break. Yeah, both of them getting those air to airs. Trying to space each other out here. Back one four. E trades. Tries to trip guard. Forge your ice ball, you can't escape it. And then there's just gonna be enough to close it out. Yep, the KB spent right there, 43%. Connie Mani is on the board, fun to fun with the Sub Zero Mirror. That's right. And that was so quick. I mean, the first one, it was so one sided, right? In Takinada's favor. And now this completely changed. Connie Mani going yeah. Sub Zero as well. And just answered with a speed run on his own. I mean, completely mixed up. Uh, Connie, like uh, Connie Money there, was able to mix and schmix and pressure, and it's just, I mean, I feel like with Sub Zero, Sub -Zero. whoever gets the pressure game started first is gonna have a huge advantage until they lose their turn. Yep, for sure. I mean, he's such like a momentum character. Once he gets the mix going, it's all mind games, etc. So, I mean, can we get a game five Sub Zero mirror? I mean, it could potentially be one. Both players very, very close in terms of skill level. Yeah. Big difference is the Creeping Ice versus the Rising Ice. Kanemani mm -hmm. yeah. going and opting for the more Fight. damage. Taki is looking more for the safety of that Creeping Ice. Just like that, keeping it safe. Or two Ice Ball. And slide in the corner. Good block. Oh, good block on the forward two slide. Dirty. Shimmies him. Gets the back throw. Jumps over the slide. Air to air. Ooh, the chainsaw. Okay. <laughs> the chainsaw. Punish here. Uses the KB. It's not going to be enough to close out the match, though. That oh, was so sweaty. Oh my god. Flawless block on that into the guaranteed D2. That was... Nasty. Side switch here as well for this... Uh, Kahinata. See? I thought it was gonna do it at least once. <laughs> <laughs> air to air so didn't quick! Even, yeah, I was about to say that looked more like a read than reaction. Yeah, there's no way that's the reaction. I don't care how young he is. Poor throw. About even on life here. Safe, keeping it safe. Oh, the flawless block on the jump in. Air to air. Big ice ball, the shooting enough to close it out. He drops it. Wait, there's the break. Yeah, both of them with fatal blow. And just, just like that, Taki in the lead. 2-1. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is demonic. This is demonic. Yes. I mean, the prediction, we still have 65% on Kani. But right now, Takinada, he is showing that he wants it. For sure. And do we see Connie stick with the Sub-Zero mirror? 
or go for yet another character switch. Nope. We're seeing the Sub-Zero mirror all the way through, no matter what. Whether we go to a game five or this is it, guys, I hope you're enjoying all the slides and all the forward two ice balls. Round one, fight. So two one, Taki one round away. Money, money, starting with the big life lead here. Mm. That was on four yeah. ballsy as well. Yeah, low profiles that back one, though, which is great. Slide into the corner. Oh my god, Connie Money. Taki oh only that goes for hurts. optimals here. Yeah, 42%, just like that in the corner. Both of them with Fatal Blow unlocked. Oh no! You are finished. Mystics, I smell the game five. I smell game five too. Oh my god, this is so close. Ooh, a random slide. Gets Kanimani in the corner. Good jump over the creeping ice. Into the side switch as well. Kanimani playing out of his mind. Mm, go grab as well out of the corner just in case Takinara tries to. He didn't hit confirm that. What is, the, what is that combo? What is that? What are these optimals forcing Taki to go ahead and spend the fatal blow to catch up on life here? But now Connie Mani is close to having access to that. Oh, well, now he does. Oh. We see forward two fatal. One touch for either of them. <gasps> it's gonna do it! Oh my god. Oh no, the breakaway! The flawless it's block! Not block. No, Connie, that was too clutch! That flawless block was oh. disgusting! That was insane! So Connie, you're on another level right now. Holy he crap! Is a different beast. And Khaled the Chat is saying this tourney is hype. Props from the USA on this production, commentary, and players. Thank you so much for saying that, guys. Wow. I mean, I, yeah, I need to see the replay on this. There it is. And while Mystique is watching the replay, you guys know what to do. Spam those exclamation point AOs in the chat because we are going to take you for a ride again. Game 5, Takinara and Kanimani, two arena champions, going all in. Going all in at the sub-zero year. And Mystique, this is hype. Who is gonna make it into the top eight? Both of these players are arena champions. Both of these players, top of the top. Let's see what we get. We get a random slide to start it off. Because why not? So you say Connie is going nuts? Connie is sliding into those DMs. Tries to interrupt the forward four. Good blocks here. Forward to ice ball. Every time. Right now, Takinada, even though he lost so much HP already. Good, oh, what a crucial interrupt. interrupt. Both of them swinging. Folks, good blocks. Big damage coming in here for Takinata. The drop is real, Mystique. And Takinata's gonna take this first round of this game five with that. Oh no. No longer has Fatal Blow, though. Kanemani still has that resource. Four to Ice Ball opening up Taki. Four and he two pulls in his ring. Ice Ball Another back. one, back to back. Oh no. 
Taki with these jump-ins. Oh, does he know it? He doesn't only know it. He knows the opposite. Mystique, that, that is that. He has no bar. Taki is not going to drop it. He knows exactly what he's doing. And Taki takes it. That Taki is incredible. Moving on. The PC champion. No. On the lower side of the bracket, guys, that is exactly how stacked this tournament is. I mean, she cheats to both <laughs> players down to the last match. That was yep. absolutely ridiculous. Both of you with your sub zeros, I say, through gritted teeth. Man, insane. Shabok is saying, Mystique said, Rip the dynamic, dude. I mean, Mystique, she is crushing it on the mic. As always. So you guys better make sure to spam that exclamation point co-host as well and follow her on all the socials because she deserves it. One of the best commentators we have here in the scene. And Missy, she deserves so much more spotlight than this. I I appreciate it. I love being on here, man. You know I love the opportunity to get to commentate these hype matches with so many of you, with so much of the MK community. It's just something that I really love doing for sure. And you're doing an incredible job, but now, I mean, can we even call it a surprise? Kanimani in the lower side, but Takinada, another arena champion. Now officially in top eight. That means only his brother has to play more sets today. Coming up next, Honeybee versus Makuran. Oh, six, I don't think I'm ready for this. I'm not ready for this, Rips. I'm not. I don't know what you brought me into today. <laughs> but <laughs> we're going to get that Scarlet, that gross Scarlet that we saw yes. absolutely dominate in round one versus the Devora that also absolutely dominated both of them with sweeps to get into the quarterfinals. 3-0 sweeps and both of them looking to get through to the semifinals, looking to make that top eight on winner's side. Just battle of NAU. Yeah, another insane showdown. And I mean, speaking about insane things, this community, as always, yeah. crushing it. <laughs> You're completely destroying every single goal we have and offering the biggest prize pools to the players we ever had in Rips Arena. You guys are crazy. So thank you so much for being here. The players are joining. Are you ready for Makaran versus Honeybee though? Yeah. Man, I'm ready. I'm ready, Rips. Chat, are you ready? I don't know if you guys are ready. I don't know. We'll see. The match is starting. We are in the character select screen. Here we go. All right. Seeing the main here from Makaran. Gonna see look the noob or the Devora. Mystique, look look at the prediction. This is a surprise in my oh opinion. Oh my god! No way! That's a surprise to me too. 90% on Makaron? Oh, that is okay, chat. Okay. I mean, I, I, I see. I, I guess you guys are very opinionated. I don't know. Don't count Honeybee out. <laughs> Top players in the world. Round one, fight. Over to start. Putting up some shit. Little poke poke. Uh, Michael on. Secure the life lead though. Boiling point. Connects on top. And that means Honeybee barely. Barely. I mean, he lost like 40% already with those two touches. I just realized. That boiling point just does so much damage. Makaron going to be looking to keep as much distance between Scarlet and Devora as possible. And Felix is saying, come on, Rips, we are talking about the two-time champion. That is, of course, right. Never forget it, Makaron. Oops, <laughs> the monk at him. And he'd be looking to outspace here, that jump in. Gets to the teleport punish and just goes with the raw teleport into a bug set up here. Interrupting and Honeybee's gonna take that first 
round of the first match. The little buggy bros, they just finished the job. It's like having an assist. <laughs> it really is like that. It's like Marvel versus Capcom. It's like having an assist coming. The buggy bros oh. just come in and save your life. Oh, the armor breaks so beautiful into the boiling point. So much damage. Plus frames. The parry, oh, he's just doing parry. it in his face. Work. Teleport. Oh, into back throw. Honeybee looking to get that corner pressure that Honeybee's always looking to work towards. Jump in. Great reach on that. It, Gotta hurt to see getting hit from that far away. What a oh, that flawless block was a piece of art. It was. Honeybee is just gonna close out this first match here against Macaron. Going up 1 0. The honeybee showing up. He wants that top 8. Devoring and right wins. now, every single remaining set on the winner's side means a guaranteed spot in the money as well. Right. It's, it, you're fighting for your life at this point. It is so sweaty. <laughs> and we can, <laughs> we can see all players, they're really going in. Full focus, 150% full sweat. But so many great sets. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. And I saw a lot of people in the chat saying Scored. game five. I could see this going to a game five. I mean, I both see ridiculous it as well. players. The Alrighty, heading into it. And Honeybee, the Devourer God himself, the King of the Hive. And here we are. Fight. <laughs> Straight into it. Memphis is saying the mosquito is cooking. <laughs> and look at Sony in the chat. He's saying both players are wholesome. It's hard to pick one. I agree on that. Both deserve it 100%. Yeah, both have worked so hard throughout this season. Both play on rips all the time and really just work outside of it in this game. They both deserve it. Double D2. Well, the flawless block. Good jump in as well. Goes for the overhead. Flawless block on the jump in. We're trading flawless block punches now. By like getting the bug set up here. And goes straight into another teleport Honeybee. with the bug to finish it off. Man, I'm pretty sure Honeybee, he was browsing Fine. through the Rips Arena vaults on YouTube before this match, you know. Analyzing his opponent. Oh, for sure. I mean, Honeybee's gotta have done his homework. Boiling point there, gonna get a good 25%. The wrong, the Honeybee I'm special. I missed it today. That's the first time we see it. Drops the bugs for the setup. Scarlet able to teleport out of there. Oh, Michael, I'm looking for the auto app. Has to pay the price for it. Good jump in. Huge life here, here for Honeybee. Also as Mako in the corner gets the bug set up and Mako takes that opportunity to get the hell out. One point, making up on that life lead. Oh, that was a good interrupt. But Makuran, Fatal Blow is loaded. And just the forward throw from Honeybee, is it enough? Not yet. Still needs to get that 20. Devor with access to one of the best chip moves in the game, but Honeybee's got to get over there to get it. And that is all you. Interactable! The perfect timing here on Honeybee's side. Two. Devorah. Oh, the two-time champion right now feeling the pressure. 
Yeah, up 2-0 right now. Honeybee is playing out of his mind right now. That timing on the interactable to jump in, you could tell he was just waiting for that. Waiting for the moment, for the opportunity. Playing right around where that interactable is. Sitting full screen and goes for it. Aquaman is saying, B had some honey this morning. That's what it looks like, brother. Like a full tub of it was sitting there with a spoon eating that. <laughs> but right now we have Makoran who needs nothing but the reversal 3-0 versus one of the best and most experienced NRS players. This is yeah, looking that's rough. It. Yeah, just a reverse 3-0 against one of the top competitors of all time. Just a casual reverse 3-0, Mystics. Yeah, easy. I could do it. Well, I could do it. <laughs> I could do it. All right. Maybe starting it off here, forcing that breakaway look early at, on. Look at Kitsu in the chat. He can't believe the price. <laughs> I saw somebody come in here and say they thought it was clickbait at first. They didn't think it was real. Oh, guys, it is no clickbait. on here getting the life lead fighting back oh, gets hit by the last hit gets the back throw sticking scarlet into the corner gonna get the bug set up get him not in time muckeron gets out jump in Sure hops. The flawless block. Honeybee, the, the overhead. Good flawless block from Makura. Honeybee with access to fatal blow, but always dead. Yeah, boiling I point always, so much. I always forget as well how much damage that boiling point does. I always am like, oh, there'll be a little bit of health left. No, you're, you're done. Real is in Good. the chat is saying Evo is the qualifier to the arena. It no, is. you're going you, crazy in the chat. If you win Evo, maybe you'll get a chance to be in the top 16. Honeybee with the launcher. Slowly working towards that corner. Oh, good jump. Goes for the full string. Gets the full throw. Honeybee with a large life lead here over Makaron. Gets the overhead. Does he go for it again? Nope. Honeybee looking for the Shim Jim. Flawless blocks on those last hits. He just needs 96 more health. Maybe gonna be nice and patient here with the life lead. Oh my yeah, God. This is turning into a zoning war. But Honeybee, he can take so much chip damage. Yeah, and he's got 13 seconds left to play around with. 10 seconds. There's no way that you can do that much shit. Who oh, gets the throw? This is going to be interesting. Gets the overhead. Oh, he tried it. He went for it again. <laughs> oh my God. Honeybee just patient, waiting it out. Just like we saw in his first match today. It was so close, but Honeybee, all calculated. Getting that life still, Makaron. Oh, the flawless block on the jump in. Good tech. Gonna get the full corner carry here, too. Bugs and with up. the buggy bros in the back, Honeybee decides to press there. Another interrupt. And don't forget the seeks. 2 0 lead for Honeybee. With another combo. Looking to close it out. Honeybee looking for his second sweep of the night. That was nice. Good roll out. We're on empty jump. The flag! Oh, no way! He dropped it! Oh, he gets it anyway. Oh my god. Yo, that was and such I a scramble. Mystics, I, I nearly had a heart attack here. Oh my <laughs> god, me too. 
I got mixed. That oh was my so gosh, insane. On the board. I believe in the game five. I believe in the game five. Man, if Makuran is really able to bring this back, that would be insane. But Honeybee, he is playing so solid tonight. He is. Robocop. Really a force to be reckoned with right now. Man, I just heard Robocop. I was like, wait, who is going Robocop? Oh, no. Tournament. Crane, everyone playing extra sweaty today. I mean, wouldn't you if there was over 5,000 euros on the line? Wouldn't you play a little sweaty? <laughs> I'd be sweating a little. I mean, I am sweating, and all I'm doing is commentating it. Round one, <laughs> fight. Jumps here from Honey being neutral. Macaron enforcing the space. Oh, look at the jump. range here on that jump in. Yeah. Forces the breakaway as well. He's gonna get the forward throw, stick Mecha around in the corner. Yo, wait, what? Excuse me? Is that trade? Maybe with the jump in, opening up Makaron. There's the side switch combo, so beautiful to look at. Makaron gonna have access to Fatal Blow, but he's gonna get the chance to use it. Chip here for Honeybee right now. Do not Gets the one hit. Honeybee is looking to close out this Fight. match. We he does so not want a game five. Caleb the Chet is saying this is an awesome tourney. 5k prize pool, a beautiful production. Thank you guys. Glad that so many people out there enjoy it. There's a yeah. where? <laughs> Wait. The double Mystics. teleport? The double teleport. Great minds think alike, Rip. The back row. Get back in the corner. What are you doing teleporting out of there? Soulbreaker, thank you. And with the buggy setup in the back, Mystics, that's still jail. should be it. One more setup. Into Honey the overhead. Honey Honeybee's Bee. taking it. <laughs> Look at the stage fatality. I love this one. And here he comes. Fatality. Oh Devora. no, not the deadly alliance. Oh man, what a set. Honeybee. Now kicking Makaron into the lower bracket, and that means Honeybee. Congratulations for reaching top eight. Yeah, seriously, you played out of your mind, both he of you. He played great. Both Jeez. of them did. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, both of them, in both of the sets today, played out of their freaking minds. So GG is to both of you, for sure. I mean, especially considering that this bracket is not a walk in the park, Masix. <laughs> no, <is> no. <laughs> this bracket's insane. Like, you always <laughs> want to be like, oh, I wasn't expecting to see so and so in the like other, like in the loser side of things. And then you look at who they lost to, and it's like, well, I didn't expect to see who they lost to in the loser <laughs> side either. <laughs> okay, let's have a look, guys, because that now means. That Makuran is dropping into the lower side. And we have Honeybee guaranteed in top eight. And tomorrow, the first match of the night. Aquaman, get ready. Takinana oh, no. versus Honeybee. And you know what I can do, guys, real quick? I can actually update the bracket here. Because luckily, Avil is keep him, keeping up with all the sets here on the lower side. So what do we have? Jetring winning over Tigris. That means Tigris dropping out after an incredible performance here in Season 12. Congratulations. And the boy Divine made it as well over Bloodford. That is quite an achievement. And then last oh, but not least here, 
for the spot in top 8, we have Son of a Bat versus Kanimani. This is stacked Masix. Oh my goodness. I mean, every single one of these. Yeah, Aquaman in the chat is saying, oh baby, you, yeah. <laughs> you you can have those heart attacks tomorrow, dude. That's, oh my God. Takinata Honeybee to start off tomorrow, guys. I mean, yeah. you and gotta be here for it. You gotta be here for it. <laughs> and Aqua and me on the mic, guys. It's gonna be good. Oh no. It's gonna be a great time. So once again, thank you guys so much for making all this possible. This is a community league. This is a community event. And we are so happy that so many people out there decide to play in our events. So don't forget, if you want to be a part of it and you like MK11, you better make sure to sign up in the Discord for Monday because season 13 is right around the corner. Live events every single day, seven days a week and special and bonus events on the weekend so on top. So make sure 2,000 members in the Discord already be one of them and have a good time. Yeah. We got both players ready to go. Character select screen. And SMC. SMC with that gross codal trying to praise the sun. Yep, and Aquaman, he is watching right now. Oh, of course. Don't let him get three totems. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I know. Aquaman taught me all the tech I know about codal. <laughs> All right, we got 70% on Disarted versus 30 on SMC. Did you guys see SMC's first match? Or was that just me? <laughs> One, tries to go for the command grab. Good jump out by Disarted. Get the totem up. Totems don't beat forward to Ice Ball, though. Goes for the short hop. One totem up. Oh, it gets frozen anyways. Trying to move forward. And there's the forward too. Goes for the full string as well. <laughs> SMC out of there. Gets grabbed and this first round is going to Disarted. Yep, he takes it. And a very good point from Tuxedo Man in the chat. We have one, close to one million channel points on the line here in this match. Oh my god. No pressure, players. Goes for the parry and misses the parry and goes straight into the amplified command grab. Praising the sun. Gonna amplify it again. Keep Sub Zero in the corner. Good interrupt. Good oh, interrupt. he tried the cheeky setting one command grab, but this started just not blocking. It's getting messy. SMC being patient gets grabbed though, a little too patient. <laughs> Just the raw command grabs rips. How many is he gonna get away with? I don't know. Getting away with murder right- Oh my god, right as I say, he does it again. Jump in, oh the flawless block punish here. Great conversion from Disarted. Breakaway gone for SMC. Both of them with access to Fatal and Blow. That is guaranteed. Yeah, I completely understand that oh. he cashed out here. I mean, catching that breakaway, such a smart play. Keeping him in the game. SMC, one round. We're going final round. I honor the Austria. Down two is very hard, Froggy. Final round. Yeah, Aquaman is Fight. saying the same. Like, very, very hard. Yeah. And Froggy's saying it's not hard. Froggy! You drop like 25 combos each set here if you're on oh. stream. Don't tell me about oh. what's easy and what's not. Oh! Ooh. We got toxic rips today, guys! Alright, <laughs> 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 we're off a man grab again. Get one yeah, totem up. That's right. One oh, good totem. Job. This is so close. Air to air here for SMC. And as hard as he expected the command grab, this Kotal Khan, he is a little bit different, Mystics. SMC going crazy. 
SMC is going insane. And first one on the board at one. Oh, no way. SMC with the raw command grabs. Disarted thought, hey, I'm ready for it this time. Nope, changes it up on him. But we we definitely, so I, I'm not allowed to sound biased here, but we need SMC in the top eight tomorrow. Aquaman is going to bring the most biased commentary we've ever seen, chat. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's like when I commentate Javier's matches. <laughs> oh man, 1-0 SMC. It disarted in trouble, at least in the first round. <laughs> round one, fight. Jump in and just command grab. There we go. It's on block, command grab. Tick throw, we love to see it. Oh, it's block on the up hit. <laughs> he read it. He docked it, gets the D2 into the conversion as well. It's gonna go ahead and amplify and stick Sub Zero in the Look corner. At the command. <laughs> oh, my the God, confidence not again. SFC. He not do it again. Do it. Do it again, you won't. Oh, hits the down one. Forward two gets well as blocked. <laughs> oh, the short the pop out. Rolls into him. But he just pressed. I like it. He is not oh, respecting the mix at all. No, he's just not even letting Gusar to get his mix fight. going. Forward four doesn't go for it again. The fall is blocked. Forcing breakaway. This is big damage here. Another juggle disarded. Huge lifely look at this melting SMC's life before our eyes, and he's gonna go ahead and stop it. Sure, gets totem off. The battle in the air, air, air. air to air disarded wins. Final round, fight. First totem off, second totem off. Good air to air there. Into the conversion, into the command grab as well. Oh, this, is he getting nervous? Tried to slide into the DMs. SMC, look at that life fleet missing. Excuse me. Ridiculous. Rolls out. You're on the corner now. Trade. Goes for the parry. SMC just going for it. Puts up the sun. He blocked. he blocked it. Oh, oh no. SMC. I'm going to have a heart attack because of this player today. SMC, he is looking for the sweep. Versus no the five-time arena champion. <laughs> no way. No missing. SMC bringing it to the arena. Is that the kryptonite of Disarded? Have we found it? Sub have we found how to beat Disarded? You just have to be SMC. 66% of the chat, they believe in Disarded. But SMC is saying right now, you know what? Hold that sun. Yeah, I mean, SMC still got to, you know... Close it out, disarded, like you said, five-time arena champion. Not someone who's gonna give up. Not someone who's gonna be like, oh, I'm down 2-0. I mean, he's going for the reverse. He's going for the reverse, and I believe that he could do it. One, fight. Into, into the creeping ice, changing variations here. Good parry getting that power up on the ice ball. Yo, wait for right. Wait for right. What are you telling me here in the chat? No. You're saying son of a bet knocked Kani Mani out? No. No. No, no, I don't believe that for no. one second. Like, really, Variety? You're not kidding? Kani Mani's out? Disarded is up? 
and only took six damage? Wait, your ability. Ava, can you guys confirm that? Guys, we need to move. Okay, back to the match here though, Mystics, because SMC is still trying to mix the shit out of Disarted. I mean, Disarted had such a commanding first round. I literally only lost six health. That's the grab. He started here. Working his way onto the board. Creeping ice, keep it safe. SMC. Forward to connect, not over. There's the totem jump in. Setting one. Short decided blocked it. Lock the shore hop and decided is on the board. Looking to make this reverse 3 0. And that is the first one. SMC, he still got a little buffer going, but that's only one round. But that block yeah, on the I short hop was incredible. I mean, Disarted looked like a completely different player that match. First round, almost flawlessing. Second round, had the huge life lead the whole time. Really controlling the match. It's looking like it's looking like a different player. Yeah, but decided he, I mean he needs the A game. He needs it right now. Oh yeah. And SMC no is hovering over Sub Zero. <laughs> SMC do it. We need another Sub Zero mirror. Chronicles key. Nah, we're gonna praise the sun instead. Oh, going with a different variation, no longer running the totems. We're gonna see the kitty cat, the con cut, and the command grab here out of SMC. Round Changing it up on us. Fight. Max gets hit by the low, into the ice fall. Big damage, and <laughs> just out of there. Good jump over the pizza Try. from this artist. Yeah. With the side switch as well, the slide to corner carry. The forward two to open up. Oh my god, this sort of popping off right now. <laughs> what are these jumps? I mean, you mentioned it earlier, Masix. This artist, he is the comeback machine. He really is. I mean, SMC with one health and a dream right now. Oh, and, and gets hit it. by the armored interactable on wake up. Oh no. Round two. Fight. Tries to air. air. Wins the air to air. Converts as well into the slide. Just goes for raw cat. Jump in. Oh, that was such a good bait. Command grab. I'm gonna go ahead and amplify, throw a sub towards the corner, wave dash his way in. SMC gonna get a huge punish with the KB here, launching Sub Zero, forcing that break away, and, now it's and just can going with the command grab. Amplify it, stick him in the corner, one more confirm. And the forward three check, SMC, can he make this happen? Final round. SMC looking to close out this match before the Sardis can get to a game five. Okay, grab him. Grab. Buff up. And throw him right into the corner. Good flawless block on that. I like the throw as well. Yeah, there's a good throw on the jump in. <laughs> Wait, just, what? Just he just five. woke up command grab. That is incredible. Oh no. Oh, gets caught. Combo drop. Oh, drops the combo. Gets the sun up, gonna get some health back. SMC just sitting in it. Oh, gets opened up by the forward two though. And the forward two forward shrinks two again. three. SMC, SMC with access to fatal blow. And that is a good call out. Mystique's game five. No way. No way. This artist, he is not out yet we're gonna set the arena on fire for another time this is so close
Guys, we have the five-time arena champion going up against our newcomer, SMC. Both fighting to get into the top eight, both fighting to get into the guaranteed money. This is ridiculous. It really is. I need to see AOs from at least the 443 cool. people in here, at least 442 <laughs> AOs in the chat. That is right. You guys <laughs> know what to do. Yo, Spend Destroyer too. And we got the boy Destroyer here with the raid. Thank you so much, brother. Hope you had a great stream. Guys, we are hosting our season finals right now. $5,700 prize pool. And we're gonna set this bad boy on fire. Let's get it. Make some noise, chat. Yeah, for those of you just coming in from the raid, this is to get into the money. This is to get into top eight. We're on a game five, SMC versus Disarded. And the bracket is stacked. Honeybee in this. So many insane players competing. Honeybee in this. Takinata in this. Acheron. Ridiculous. Yeah, good forward to opening. SMC. I mean, now it counts. I like the standing four as well. Oh, we brought the totems back. Double hop here from the boy. Oh my god. The bait. Goes for the guaranteed down two damage. Interactable, he's out, decided not able to slide punish that. Another jump, flawless blocks back to back from both. Escape failed, also loaded for sub zero now. Oh, interrupts the fatal blow. He tried to go raw fatal blow. That's right. He tried, he was looking for the double break, gets the grab, SMC. And amplifies it, keeps sub in the, z uh, sub in the corner. But this is just ridiculous. SMC is making so many good reads, and of course, Kotal Khan. I mean, you can consider that character as a mix-up character as well. Yeah, I mean, you really can. SMC looking to close this out. But the forward to another one. Good interactable. And this started waking up slide. What is that demonary? Oh my god. Wait. Jumps over the command grab and is gonna take this round. And I we've got a game five final round. This set is going the entire distance. No way. Creeping eyes. Keeping it safe. That's right. The sound of this quick on this side. Who gets spends the KB? 35% right there. 4 2 opening up. SMC jumps out of the grab. Guess the, the side switch as well. But decided armored interactable. He goes for the sun. I don't agree with that. Oh, no. He's going to eat so much damage for that. This is going to do it. This is going to do it. Decided it takes it. Three, two. Brings it back. The reverse three. Oh, from Disarded. No way. Number six, we go right into the fatality. You don't need your spine. It's fine. Boop. GG's. Two both. What a match. Wins. Definitely one of the highlight matches today. But in the end, this started. He clutched it all. The reversal 3-0, by the way. Yeah, reverse 3-0 to get into the top eight. Guaranteed winning some of that 5,000 plus euro pot. <laughs> And of course, a very big shout out to Destroyer as well. Once again, thank you so much for the raid, brother. I appreciate it. But now that means we have to take a look at the bracket again, Mystics. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw SMC again in, in the grand finals. I've said this about everybody who's lost, but SMC, I mean, like played out of his mind. That codal is ridiculous. So Disarded in or on the winner side. Still, SMC now in the lower bracket has to fight Divine to make it into the top eight. And that means into the money. They started done for today as well, just like Takinara. And now we have one more set, and that is gonna be Uvility versus Kitana Khan Mystics. What do you expect from this one? 
I expect some insane sweat per usual, <laughs> of course. But I expect them both to go with their mains. I mean, I don't see any reason that Uvility doesn't go Jackie and that Kitanacon doesn't go Cetrion. Um, I expect to see some of the best gameplay. The, both of these players are so technical. I mean, Kitanacon mm -hmm. loves the restands and the resets into mix, into throw the strike throw game, etc. Not really zoning as much as like you expect with a Cetrion. Yeah, that's true. And your ability, I mean like just such a pressure character, such yeah, a pressure like player. I mean, the but shimmies, be it's ridiculous. <laughs> but being completely honest here, I expect the top tier battle as well. So as always, guys, the players are in the lobby. Thank you for all the support. The subscriptions, the gifted subs, of course, the donations as well. Thank you for being here. And tomorrow we're going to close it out. But now let's take a look at that final match of the night. So, and Kitana Khan already locked in? Yeah, already ready to go. Jackie Briggs. And there yep, it is. I like it. There's the mains. Ready to go. Both these characters are locked in. Cyber Linkway Assembly. Right. Headed into it. Neither of them playing around with their variations. <laughs> yeah. Just going with the meta. Meta characters. Top tier character versus top tier character. <laughs> top tier player versus top tier player. Let's get into it. Let's get it. Oh, good tech. Clean yeah, opening like for And puts the group down too. Wake up buttons, interesting option. And it works. The castle in the chat say you guys raised five thousand three hundred dollars. No castle, it's five thousand three hundred euro. It's like five thousand eight hundred dollars, I think. Yeah, it's it's an insane amount. All raised by the community. In six weeks. Yo, Smooth, thank you so much for the Prime subscription. And there's the restand into Rock Wall. Yeah, Kitana Khan, we are now in ship out territory, and here it is. In the laser does the job. Yeah, either Jackie was going to get clipped trying to get in, or she was going to get chipped out. Not too much ability could have done there. Got damage. Three stands. And all this chip, it adds up in the end. I mean, chip damage is so important in MK11, in my opinion. I agree, especially both of these characters having less of a health pool, both of them running with 950 health. Chip damage, the dot damage from Jackie, it's all gonna add up at the end. Oh, it was a nice snipe there. from Ubility. Good throw tech from Kitana Khan. Another snipe, don't jump at me. Yeah. Oh, good grab. Getting that instant. Press and grab, no punish. Good Another no attack punish. from KK. Both of them have fatal blow on lock. Ground pound, laser. Folks. So. Ooh, that is oh, a punish ability. With the overcommitment in the end, and that means Kitana Khan takes the lead after a very close round number one. I mean, K Kitana Khan's spacing in this match has been absolutely nuts so far. I mean, see Lady Elmo saying nice <laughs> composure. Hey, hey, hey. And Eracles in the chat with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, guys. And I have a little update for you as well. So it was fake news, actually. Because Kanimani, he made it officially in top eight, Jackie beating Riggs. the boy son of a bet, Makuran, winning over Golly, even though Golly is Who's not updated Dragon there on Ball. the list yet. But just as a little heads up for you guys. 
So you're telling me there's gonna be Makaron versus Kanemani on loser's side in top eight? Yep. And that's what you're telling me? That's what's gonna happen tomorrow. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to be here tomorrow. Round one. So Fort. one OKK, okay, what can you ability do about it? Rock wall. Good duck. Good jump over the rock wall. Am I able to get a punish though? Free stand. The instant. As soon as your ability hits the air, he's hitting the upgraded. Good tech there from Katana Khan. Gets the boulder out of the air. Sniped. Sniped. And more pressure incoming. And we're even close to a late night hype train here. Thanks to Iraklis. A big shout out to you guys. Thank you for the support and of course for showing up. Sniped out of the air again. Katana Khan saying stop trying to jump in on me. It's not gonna work. Yeah, the backdash, in my opinion, the best backdash in the game. Satrion so solid and that is gonna KB. KB into launcher. Able to get a good 27% off of that. Katanakon has a lot of health to play with right now. Oh, and the whiff D2 from Jackie there. And that is gonna do it. Wait, barely surviving. Ooh. One laser. Yes, the ability had to take the risk. Kitana Khan with a dominant second round as well. Yeah. Khan looking to sweep right now, looking to get that 3-0 Juvility with his last chance to get on the board. See if we can see that reversal like we did last set. Yeah, if we learned one thing today, Mercedes, that's we can never count those players out. No, we can't. We literally can't. <laughs> Some of the top players in the world right now. That is right. And we have a one-sided prediction as well, 83%. On Kitana Khan, only 17% on Uvility. Right now, still in the character select screen, thinking about a potential Sephiroth. switch. I mean, Kitana Khan, of course, character locked here. So, Jackie, I thought we were going to see Sub, but Uvility oh in the God. last second decides to stay with Jackie. Tank Garage Bunker. Possibly Katana Khan's last match to get into this top eight. Round one. Potentially. Fight. Escape fail right away. Put flawless block right there. The up two. And the race stand. That guaranteed D2 on the breakaway. Out even on life right now. Ability with that access to fatal blow though. Just one touch into fatal. And here it is. This should be the trade. Katanicon Oh, Katanicon. Spends it and takes this first round. That is so ballsy. What a call out. The light purifies. Round two. Yeah, I agree. Fight. Why not spend Fatal Blow? The ability could have ended out the round right there. Tried to save it. Rock wall in the face. Nato pushing Jackie away, sniped out of the air. Dash punch. Oh my god, what was that conversion? I have no idea, Mystique. <laughs> Cetron out of the corner, just like that. Each two of course out. Sniped! Dr. S, that is good. Do we spend it? 
it. It's 950 HP. I can completely understand the decision making behind it. Yeah, I so should be there. I don't it think so. Be Not yet. 36 left. Kitanakan, no access to Fatal Blow either. Kitanakan playing it smart. Your ability still has to pay attention. Oh my god, Oh, oh, oh boulders! Kitana Khan with a 3 0 sweep. And we see another fatal. GG's. Oh my god. Kitana Khan, what a performance. <laughs> what a player. Fatality. Another character exploded Fatality. on our screen. Yeah, and that means Kitana Khan guaranteed in top 8 on the winner's side for tomorrow. Congratulations. And I mean, what can we say here, Miss Seeks? A beautiful tournament, in my opinion. So many hype sets on top. This was just, it was just mind blowing. So congratulations to all players who made it into the top eight. A few of them still have to fight for it. For example, now, Uvility in the lower side versus Jetring. But for us guys, after three hours, I'm super sorry to say it. But an old man needs some rest. So thank you so much for the incredible support, for the hype, for the love in the chat, for showing up. And of course, one of the biggest thank yous to the beautiful Miss here next to me for crushing it on the mic as always. Miss thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me on here. Great sets, guys. Great matches. Thanks for making me sweat. And I uh, can't wait to see how it turns out tomorrow. It's going to be... Let me guys... It is going to be very, very insane. So, we're going to catch you all tomorrow for the Grand Finals. Aquaman on the mic. It's going to be a blockbuster. So, hopefully, all you guys can make it. Don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube. And feel free to join the Discord if you want to play in the next season starting this Monday. But for now, we're going to raid the boy Tento. So, make some noise in the chat. But for now, we are out. Everyone, have a wonderful evening.